a sacrifice induced for the altar of your vanity. A jealous, hungry God craving praises of profanity. With bedroom dark and dine and a deep mouth stained with wine, it drinks. It's filled. It was your mother's, not your brother's, that agreed to feed you poison. This egregious lack of choice indeed seemed fit to join your voice in. With lies disguised as prizes of reason and wisdom, with briberies of finery to weaken any criticism. Can the fly invade the blossom that devours it? A mouth that lies in wait for a gift of life to shower in. Well, uh, welcome back. Um, last session was a Halloween one-shot, uh, but we are back to the main game. It is session 79. And if I recall everything correctly... Um, last session with the uh, main set game was, uh, we had ended it with you guys realizing that your personal and group domain was essentially under attack. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> no, specifically, Albin and Nicodemus. Okay. Well, I'm glad you said that, Vlad, because... Uh, Vlad, Nicodemus, and Albina, uh, all three of you guys roll your contacts, plus your allies, plus your commerce rating. Wait. I don't have contacts. Well, it sucks to be you. Do I roll still? Yes. Yes, you do. Okay. It's death can six. You, can, I, can you repeat what I was going to roll? Contacts, plus allies, plus commerce. Okay, it's just them that are rolling, right? Correct. Okay. Can, well, I don't... Can I pass I don't on have... to it? Um, your retainer can do it, but it has oh, to be I their saw. ratings. Okay. Uh, I don't have allies either. Well, does your... Um, uh, accountant ghoul have allies? Uh, he doesn't have a sheet, so I don't know. Okay. You tell me. Uh, I don't know. Give him five dice, and let's call that a, a day. Okay, I'm rolling five dice. Can I do power okay. use on this room? If you like. Um, I don't know that I would, but go ahead if you want to. I only have one thought in coma, so yeah, I'll be using every power on this. There we go. Alright. Okay. So, uh, all three of you guys succeeded. Um, what you have here mm -hmm. is the people that handle your business, your, your, essentially your resources. Um, there's a large group of people in Rome that are essentially personal bankers. You can think of them as personal bankers. And they get some messages to you guys, or you hear through your network, that somebody is putting a lot of pressure on them to figure out who is handling your money. Uh, nobody has cracked yet. They haven't figured out exactly who is handling your resources. Um, but it's only a matter of time. Okay. Is it possible to know who's doing this pressure? Putting those pressure? I believe you're going to have to go investigate that. Okay, are there any leads? Where to begin? I imagine should go ask the bankers first. The, the ones that have been hearing about this pressure deep, but... That's uh, a really good idea. Well, 
Is this a new day, night? Correct, it is a brand new night. Okay, cool. So let's see what that is. Okay, do we do we have to go and ask them personally or can it be relayed by the people who handle well, your, if you want to send your retainer or your um, childa or whoever it is that is handling said thing to go do it, that's what they're there for. So how do I appear today, tonight? Ah, uh, you rolled a three. I gotta check your uh, particular sheet to see. I really have to get on that freaking uh, table I was talking to you about. Walls. Here we go. Minor changes, somewhat recognizable. Um, the last time we had had you change appearance, you had appeared as a really skinny old man-ish. Um, you have filled out some. You have your mass has changed a little bit. You are have a pretty good pot belly on you. Uh, your face is pretty plump. Um, you still look pale and somewhat monstrous, uh, but you are still human-ish looking. Okay. Um, you look like you've put on about, uh, 20 kilos or 30 kilos uh, overnight. Good. Okay. Okay. So I'm not a most great breach right now. No. Okay. <clears throat> Well, we we are being attacked. It's no good that someone is trying to find our essentially uh, people. Uh, there, there cannot be any good reason to do that. Well, it is it is as we were told to expect. No, I don't know why they attack at me, but uh, I guess because I'm close with you, so it makes sense. Uh, uh, I think we should investigate this and stop it before it, you know, goes out of uh, out of our reach. Of course. It's uh, so far. It's been Nicodemus, me, and Albina. The question is, how much of a personal touch should we give this? Should we try to distance ourselves from this? Perhaps in a way try to uh, avoid uh, the people that we work with be associated with us? Or should we try to take a more personal approach? I, I believe in this scenario, too much distance may, may just accelerate any decline. Indeed. The, I think the goal here is just to dry us, make us weaker through our, you know, backgrounds, our assets. We probably should work together and find a solution to this because it seems like this is not a personal thing, or I should say this is a personal thing uh, regarding all of us, not just one of us. Hmm... I wasn't, uh, I wasn't attacked the last time, but I am now, so that means you might be next, or Labiana, and then the whole uh, cult of yours. Well, in that regard, some attempts have already been made. True. Um... I I feel that it would be a pro um I feel that it would be appropriate to consult the stars uh, on this one. Uh what's the weather like? Uh Chris? Oh, let's find out. <clears throat> I'll ask uh rest of the group 
how much you know like windows there are in the bank you know there's you know, too many reflective surfaces as such because i have to be careful about that and they've been in rome for some time so they would probably know the bank how the bank looks like it's not a bank these are personal bankers okay okay sorry my mistake Basically, they operate out of their house. There, there's a defined area for them during the day in which they do business. And this mm -hmm. is an official thing. They have official positions. They belong to a guild um, that is quite selective. Uh, but they essentially run things. There's a, they have a, a defined area, but for personal clients like yourselves, um, they handle things out of their homes. Okay. Okay. So, how do they usually contact us? Is it through through our vassals? Or yes, through whoever you whoever have that the site currently. Whoever you have that goes to, you know, handle. Uh, you you have to sign off on your investments. Hey, I think it's a good idea to trade with this person. You should sign off so I have you know records on this, so on and so forth. Whoever you send to approve this stuff is usually the one they contact. And honestly, a lot of times, they handle stuff through just notes. Okay. So I guess it's, I guess it's reasonable to... to send whoever they usually contact to make the inquiries first. Perhaps with some backup. Okay, well, whatever seems best to you guys. Um, in the meantime, I will make my um, willpower roll to try and clear the skies. You request for uh, her child to head there. Okay. That is absolutely understandable uh, from all the way around. Um... Regarding the collegia, is, is it really, uh, is it really um, Gregorius who's running the things uh, um, as the face? Gregorius actually has a uh, an ally of his who runs the college for him now because he's been there too long and everyone recognizes him as being never aging. Mm -hmm. um, but it's not your, it's not that domain under attack. It's your personal money. Oh, okay. Oh, also for my part in the, uh, you know, physical going to talk to people aspect, um, I think I bought, I bought up a background for, um, um, uh, Sanishal Ghoul, um, uh, Ah, do you need a character point. sheet for that? I believe yeah, you do. but, for now, we can just, you know, for now, we can just hand wave it. Okay, if, it, if it's, if it's, if it's my personal money, who, who the banker is talking to? Yeah, well, you know, whatever messenger you send, or he sends a letter to a Dropbox that you pick up every couple of nights saying, here's your, here's what I've done with your cash. Uh-huh, okay, I get it now. Um, so is it like, is there a specific method of recognition uh, in which um, if, if a letter comes or a person comes, he knows that he's uh, eligible to know about... Uh, I would say probably a either a a uh, seal of approval mm -hmm. uh, and if you're a little bit more paranoid uh, add to that a code phrase let's settle that there is a code phrase and that there is a seal of approval and uh, okay so I guess this means that Nicodemus would go himself and he, he'll just wear a face 
uh, um, in obfuscate a phase um, appropriate. Okay, I believe that's a performance roll. Mm -hmm. Performance and, and and what? And, uh, I have to look up this one. Give me a second. I... Yeah. <laughs> uh, I was trying to answer a question at the same time I was talking to you. Uh, Mask of a Thousand Faces is manipulation plus performance at diff 7. Mm. Uh, with two successes, you can be a generic, perfectly bland face. Okay. Okay. Essentially, you look like you could be a relative of yourself. A distant cousin, maybe. Uh, this is this is enough to hide your third eye. Mm -hmm. Can we can we get rid of the beard? Yeah, I think so. It's a cosmetic change. I don't see why not. Okay, that's enough to put off. The, the the main bulk of recognition. Okay. All right. Um, hatch is fit. Ask a question. To where should we look to find? The, the, uh, Mr. The, yeah, the, the, um, Thul Mithras enemies. You see the sign of House of the Hawk. Hmm, Hawk. Interesting. Make a, oh, I'm going to make a note of this. And mm. that, if I remember correctly, that doesn't, that suggests um, not necessarily a vampire clan because, like, for the venture, it's the eagle specifically, right? It's a raptor. Let's, let's not get too specific in uh, one species of raptor bird versus another. Fair. It can also be a house. It doesn't have to be a vampire. Yeah, well, that, we're talking astrology sign. That's why I said House of Hawk. It's an astrology thing. The main thing is, you're looking for a fucking hawk. Something that represents a hawk. Okay. Well, uh... So... Okay, well, I, I have a senescial ghoul. Uh, does he investigate this? Or I don't do know. I does he? You tell me. I mean, what, what's the general skill set, you know, you use for investigating stuff like this? I mean, that's kind of his job. Yeah. Well, I mean, I'm asking this for me. I just want to see if I know if I have the skill set for it. Uh, it was going to be investigation, commerce. Uh, yeah, I think he, in he should investigate who is trying to find information about him. I I suck at those stuff, so I will be more problem than help at this point. 
So I think he will, you know, well, he is also the one who made the roll, so he will try to see who is trying to find his existence, his identity. Try to see. Rumors came to him, so. Okay, I am making this sheet super quick as we talk. Um, I will go back and edit it appropriately later. Yeah, it's okay. It's, it's no problem. You can also say just the generic stuff if you want to do the sheet later on after the session. All you right. don't need well, to like, do it right now. This, is he going to have dice pools of four or five in investigation and commerce? Between four and six. So, anyways, you guys have decided who's going and who's staying, correct? Yes. I think right. we did. I'm not sure. Well, we also have Albina, but yeah. Well, Albina is sending her Childa, who is, uh, in all honesty, probably more qualified to do this. <laughs> I guess I just kind of need to be caught up on what's going on. Uh, Labiana, you awake, and you enter the um, group haven where everyone's speaking, and everyone seems kind of excited. Uh, a little concerned. You know, you enter yawning, looking for your coffee, if such a thing was existed back then. <laughs> <laughs> and just kind of give them all a confused look. Well, what the hell's going on here? We have received word that someone has been digging into our financial backers. We are under attack. We are being sieged. Not, not okay. literally, I hasten to add. I mean, I kind of looks around. Yeah, well, I don't really hear any, you know, sign, uh, any sort of sounds pertaining to any kind of attack, but um, she looks over at um, Albina after what she'd said and, and kind of thinks for a moment and goes, let me guess. The cult of Selmithras. Most likely. They... They are being very aggressive. Did you ever had any other cult that has been this aggressive at you? Well, there is that one of the... That's there's that one with the Ravnus, but it was more a general attack against all the recognized religions of Rome. Not something focused against us. I wonder if this has anything to do more than the cult, or if it is happening specifically because of the cult's existence. This is this might be a matter of no personal, you know, or business uh, or personal business thing. Or oh, dare I say it, could it be a direct attack on us? Or it's a, it's a dr direct attack at us, that's for sure. Well, from what they haven't told us, that side taxes do not be and uh, like solely at cults. I do not believe I Hamish himself has one, no. and he is also attacked. Well. I don't know much about Iham, so I can't say what might be another reason to attack him. But if you say so, then hmm, this this is um, this is weird. This is unexpected. So, what's our plan of attack? Well, I think we three. Yeah. Yeah, pretty much going to do that. Hmm. In the meantime, because um, I won't be investigating myself. I am not fit to investigate such things, so my seneschal will do it. In the meantime, I can help with some other issue that is creating a problem to us. Maybe. Maybe with the people speaking against your cult, if there is anything more we need to do in that aspect, in that side of the siege. It's quite obvious that those of Solmetras' cult are 
probably contact being contact in contact with a vampire and perhaps if you can investigate uh, visit some of their uh, meeting places and see if there's perhaps well let me tell you this I'm really really bad at investigation for to be true you know to be honest I mean I I can go to the house with someone else that's for sure and ask questions I guess not the most social in that aspect here but in the literal sense of investigation don't expect much from me that's fair the best is on this matter I'm not the best in investigation itself but I believe I could be handled handling most of it Maybe, what about you, Het? Are you are you good at investigation? Um, I'm afraid, I'm afraid not. But um, with all that said, I do have something that we should consider whenever we're with whatever we look into. Soul Mithra, the cult of Soul Mithras is aligned with something to do with hawks. This is, it's highly likely this means the Ventru, but we should keep an eye out for multiple possibilities. Does this strikes me as anything in particular? The mention of, of hawks. Is it a? Uh, would there any area from be a uh, something that would be come to mind when I hear that? Wait, hold on. I've just thought of another thing it could mean. Sorry, can, also, can can you repeat that, please? It could also be a reference to the Roman military. Wasn't that eagle? Chris said himself that we shouldn't get too hung up over different types of, you know, raptor birds. Okay, okay. Well, yeah, uh, it can also mean army, but I mean, army is a little too... <clears throat> I mean, army is a little too wide, you know? It, I don't think if we are, you know, in, if this cult is that important for the army, to be honest, no offense. Well, I don't think she's saying the army would have a direct, uh, would have direct involvement in it, but it would still be worth checking out. I mean, maybe a specific general who you offended, someone you maybe, I don't know, uh, like an example, tried to kidnap, who knows. Was it in was it in your Hatch episode? Um, what was the precise thing that you saw in regard to the hawk? I was. <laughs> uh, I'm afraid on this occasion I wasn't able to discern much more than that. That uh, these that our enemies among the cult of Soul Mithras can be found under the under the sign of the hawk. Sign of the hawk. So this speaks like a banner or a crest. Would there be any uh, Roman gods that would have a hawk as the uh, sacred animal? Well, Jupiter was explicitly an eagle. Um. As far as Roman gods go, I don't know that the hawk is terribly important. Um, honestly, I have to look that up. I want to see if any any of them are. I've, got another, I've also got another couple of uh, out of character questions, but I'll wait until you've. Um. Apollo, sometimes associated with a hawk. Uh, 
But you guys do know that much like an eagle, hawks are associated with the sun. And they are associated with messengers of the spirits. Mm. On, the, on that, would um, Labiana have any knowledge about any of that? Particularly with Apollo. Well, hawks aren't strongly associated with Apollo, but of all the Greek gods, he's the only one who has any association with hawks. I think I'm mainly still the Ventru and the military. Yeah, let's, let's not think of too, too much about that one, I think. Also, uh, my of, oh, I was going to say this quickly, out of character. Um, I did have a couple of questions. After um, Hat mentions the sign of the hawk, would any of us know of any uh, buildings or signs anywhere around Rome which had a picture of a hawk on it? Maybe worth checking out. Um, that would be an intelligence plus legend domain role. The perfect role for our country. Right, I now have two dots. Now, uh, for Vorpal, it's not bringing up any any memories. Difficult six, yeah. Oh man, you guys, oh shit, how can you watch it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you think it's a reference to the communal bath? <laughs> yeah, Alban is lost in thought. Um, it's in the sewers. Go to the sewers, there's the answer. You know what? Albana, you are convinced that it is a reference to an Asimite named Golzar Shadi. <laughs> oh my god. Oh yeah, he did mention that he was interested in hawks. He is literally a, a falcon trainer. Literally. I think he mentioned falcons though. There is a, this Asimite that has been working on training birds of prey. Those that live on the his sign on the design of on the design of the hawk might be a reference to those that work under him. Well, uh, he's he's training falcons. He's out of politics completely, unless he's been hiding it so well for so many centuries. Even if he is out of politics, those that follow him might not. Those on the his sign. What is uh, what are we gonna get? I don't know. That's that's too. That's complete. That that seems like a false lead. Carmen. Okay. I suppose my other out of character question would be: Would there be any temples that? Um any of us might know of that may be associated with the cult of Mithra specifically. Any of which that may have some of those carvings nearby, potentially. Um, I will say the females of this group do not know of any uh, temples to the cult of Mithras. And in fact, this is actually relatively new. Um, the only one who might actually have heard of this before would be Vorpal, or sorry, uh, Nicodemus, because he's from the region where Mithraism got started. How much theology does Nicodemus have? Probably zero, let me check. Yeah, I don't know if you yeah. ever bought any. <laughs> no. Okay, <laughs> yeah, yeah, you don't really know either. Can't remember no signs. Um, 
Okay. The only thing that even springs vaguely to mind would be the Temple of Mars. There is the Field of Mars, which is to the north of Rome, and it's a very large open field, uh, which is used to muster armies. And there is the Temple of Mars, which is on the Palatinate Hill. Uh, Temple of Mars Altar, U-L-T-O-R. I believe the field may be a good idea to start. If this, the association, if we are not splitting heads in regards to birds, the hawk too, could easily mean the military and the field to be the most associated part of that. Want to they investigate willing the to uh, check this out. I mean, I'd certainly be willing to go there myself and sort of just have a look around. Go there yourself? Note. Really? Yeah, well, I no longer have ghouls or childer, so why not just do it myself? <laughs> I mean, that's, that's not the problem. So, to be clear, are we looking at checking the, um... Are we looking at checking the, uh, Mars-associated locations? I think it's something, uh, worth looking into, um, um, among other things. I mean, on the mil- you know, on the military side, Mars is, you know, have we- yeah, they got the whole god. I suppose we've not known Mitras enough to know that he also has a relation to the air worship of the military. Mm. Hmm. I don't think so. Well, are we going to divide the group or are we going to, you know, go together? Are we splitting? Oh, it's up to you guys. We should probably uh, all mean, of our bases. So far, it looks like we have the army and and what would else be? I think we have the army to check, right? Uh, maybe a temple of uh, Jupiter. Uh, Mars. I think we should go together. I think it will be better because it's not the safest out there on the streets, right? Uh, there has already been a case of uh, being attacked by werewolves, the pines. I think we should go together, and there isn't too many places we need to be either. So we won't really, really lose too much time. That sounds good to me. Sure. Okay. Okay, so what's your first destination? Um, I... Mm. Yeah, it's. Uh, I think we don't have the same personal bankers. Each of us has a different one, right? Probably. Yeah. Redundancy, if nothing else. Yeah. And I think, like, at least two of us are standing, like, our assets. So we are not really personally investigating that part, so... Okay, so let's do this. Those of you who are going to the personal bankers, or your representatives, get your stuff together and you leave the haven. Mm -hmm. Alright. Those of you who are remaining behind, as you are gathering your things, uh, one of the uh, cult servants... Uh, announces that a 
tall, intimidating woman with long dark hair and carrying a wrapped bundle is here, and she says she's here to see um, Albina Palace. Albina makes herself available to meet this woman. Um, they show her in. It is Alethia. Um, she's carrying a bundle that's about as long as she is tall, and it rattles and clinks, and it's got um, it's tied together with rope. Albin is like, why does she see this as she approaches? Is that? Oh no 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 no. Um, she sets it down. She unties it. It's a bundle of weapons. Um, a spear, uh, a sword, uh, a couple of hand axes, and uh, she looks at you, and it's uh, Albinus here, and Nicodemus is here, and Vlad Karstein is here. Is Labiena here still? Uh, she is, yes. Okay. So she looks at all of you, and is Hatshepsut here, or is she gone with the uh, banker group? Um... She would have uh, let let them go on on the uh, with her. Yeah, she would have sent her own ghoul instead. Okay. So in fact, only your representatives went to the bankers, which is okay. Um, honestly, to be expected. Uh, so she looks at all of you and she says, uh, I'm, "I'm getting some preparations in together, and uh, before I get too much further, wanted to make sure we had some strategy in mind." Um, just to be clear, uh, all of you are participating, correct? You're all going to be part of this. <clears throat> Not really. Actually, I was going to talk to Albina about this one. And while we are here, I should do it quickly. Albina, I would be willing to help you with your blue point problem if you accept to owe me a major boon after the deed is done. Otherwise, you must understand that this is too dangerous of a task and I won't do it. Alright, um, Albina, I'll, before you respond, Alethea's mouth kind of drops open a little bit in shock. And she claps her hand over your face so you cannot talk. And she looks at Vlad and she goes, you want to run that by me again, a little more slowly? Yes. Um, we did not have the discussion of helping with the lupine problem, so... I will... I can help if Albina owes me a major boon, because this is too dangerous, and I'm not a fighter. She so says, I need to yes, get something... Uh, she goes, well, done. that's what I thought you said. You're a coward. <laughs> if you see it like that... No, no, no. So There's no it. if. This group took you in. They showed you the city. They have helped you for years. And this minor task, you refuse to help without an incredibly major investment of time and effort? You won't even provide... A ghoul to help? You're not only a coward, you're worthless. You're a fool. You are a drain on their efforts. These are your personal opinions. Um, she walks up and she grabs you by the chest. She grabs your clothes and she like pulls you up and she goes, If I was in charge here, I would kick you out on the street right now. I'm a scholar. She shoves you backwards, like shoves you. Make a uh, self-controller instinct roll for me. This is humiliation. She is manhandling you. Yeah. Uh, can I actually spend willpower? Um, you may spend willpower. Do you are are you on instinct? I'm on instinct, yes. Yeah, you don't get to stop your frenzy. Right, but I can direct it, right? Oh yes. Okay, and I, it doesn't have to be her, right? No, it doesn't have to be her. Okay, great. 
So, uh, can I still direct my friends after spending a willpower rather than rolling? Um, you actually roll instinct to direct your frenzy. Okay, okay. So yeah, you are on metamorphosis, right? Yes. Alright. You can check my shit, I... Uh, I'm, I'm looking to see your it. sins. I need to check this sins. Level, t uh, level 10. Failing to ride out frenzy is level 10 sin. Uh, where is the... how do you roll? Okay, I'm going to roll this manually. I don't think there's roll t you know, on the roll 20 sheet, I think. It's under dice somewhere, don't worry about it. You have three. Okay, I got six and a ten and a five. Alright, you can direct your frenzy this round. Great. Uh, okay, so I guess I will look... Definitely, after that, clear. I'm going to simply direct uh, my anger uh, to my um, left arm, if it's okay. So I want, I'm going to, like, no, no, punch no. my left arm. You, you don't get it directed at yourself. Your, your beast is uh, activating horrid form. And you have to pick somebody or something... Proper, pro okay. and your beast, your beast wants somebody to to go right. after. Right. Uh, but I can choose something. Yes, you can. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to choose. Um, I'm I'm going to choose like a table or something like that. Yeah, something unimportant, not something not important. I'm, I'm simply, you know, it is clear that I'm in frenzy, but I'm simply, you, know, you guys simply see it, I'm trying to direct it to something useless, something that is just not going to harm you guys. Yeah. Uh, oh dear, looks like right. we're gonna have to... Um, everybody else roll courage. Not the vase again. Do you want me to spend right. blood for that, by the way, for it fall? Yeah, for uh, Zulo shape, I do. You spend two blood points. Yeah. All right. Um, so Albina, yeah, fuck this. You're not sticking around for this shit. Well, I'm not the only coward now. <laughs> um, I, um, I expected to run away. <laughs> as as he gets mad, he's like. Uh, and his flesh begins to ripple and change, and he begins to grow until he is about eight feet tall, maybe seven. Um, his skin becomes black and leathery with an oil sheen. Little spikes grow out along his spine, around his shoulder blades. Um, okay. His nails yeah. get long and black. How tall is our ceiling right now? It is actually tall enough for this. Tall enough to fit in? Yes. Hulk <gasps> smash! Hulk <laughs> smash is back! <laughs> and as he's smashing the table, uh, Alethia calmly rolls her foot underneath the spear and kicks it up into her hand, twirls it around a couple of, a couple of times, uh, and sets herself between the monster and all of you. Okay. So can I spend willpower to end the frenzy? No. No, you cannot. That's not possible? I not on instinct. Possible. If you say so. This is the problem with instinct. You ride it out. Um, and even then, um, spending the willpower only usually gets form turn you have to have a very specific power to be able to end it okay. completely yeah it kind of sucks <laughs> but when you walk a road other than humanity the beast becomes a part of your life 
It is a part of you that you are trying to not suppress. You're trying to harness. Yeah. Oh, dear. The, you set your beast uh, in a rage, turns, and sees Alethia. Target. I'm going to try to control it. I'm still going to try to control it. All right, keep rolling instinct, instinct every round. Yeah, okay. It's a shame I'm not playing this Nosferatu. <laughs> Check. Eight, <laughs> right. uh, six, and a ten. Uh, what's your target? Uh, the ground, something useless. All right. You bend down and start beating the ground. She beheads you. Okay. Vlad's head rolls off. Bounce, bounce, bounce. Blood leaking out. His body begins to rot. Yay. Vlad's mostly dead. And I can't resist that? Nope. Well, then. I'll be in and just kind of steps and Vlad, steps you have a backup yeah. plan for this, which there nobody That's else it. knows about. <laughs> yeah, while this is all, this, all this is going on, Labiana just kind of steps aside, looks at Alethea, and is like, What was that? <laughs> that guy's. Surprising, I got to say. She looks at Actually, his no. body, she, not bo she. smear of ash. You're better off without it. Do you I take that? Uh. Regardless, reg regardless, um, let's just get back to the task at hand, shall we? With one less? We are never playing with one Ah, well, let's, uh, let's switch oh. gears here as you guys digest that. Um, the fact that she just destroyed a uh, Zemisi in one shot. Um,. Try to remember which causes Labiana to want to throw Alethea out on her ass. <laughs> we are going to shift gears. The reason, oh, by the, the way, um, is because of everything they've been through. Yeah, uh, uh, I'm gonna let you chew on that as uh, we switch gears to the uh, coterie of attendants and uh, retainers headed towards the uh, forum where most of your bankers live. As your men are going down the streets, uh, the streets are busy. Uh, news readers are out, they're packed. Um, the streets are buzzing with news and that none of your main characters have heard yet. Gaius Gracchus is back in town. Oh boy! What? Not can only we, that, can you repeat that, can you repeat that Chris Gaius please? Gracchus, younger brother of Tiberius Gracchus, is in town and it would appear that he has abandoned his post as caster to do it. How much time has passed since Tiberius' death again? Ten years. Ten years. What was he doing all this time? Uh, building a career for himself in the military and government. Ooh. Huh. He is on his... What they did to him is he uh, won a position as uh, quaestor in Sicily. And when the term was up, because they serve a uh, governor or proconsul usually. Um, instead of bringing them back to Rome, in a very highly unusual move, the Senate extended the term of the proconsul and his quaestors by another year. So 
So they normally you have to kind of be elected for that. And the Senate was just like, yeah, no, you're going to stay down there. Sorry. Sorry, not sorry. So Sicily is kind of a punishment uh, position. Yeah, this was, it's widely speculated that they did this just to keep him out of Rome. Out of politics. They wanted him out of the way. <clears throat> and obviously he has uh, declined to uh, do that. Yep. So, those of you with Wall uh, will know that they will probably put him on trial for abandoning his post. Mm-hmm. To which he likely has a plan, <laughs> because he's not stupid. Correct. So, um, they are, of course, traveling along. They hear this news, uh, make a note to tell you about it. They are passing a, a full tavern that is, of course, speaking about it. And as they pass by, uh, they witness uh, a group of Roman men beating the ever-loving shit out of a guy. They've got him on the ground, throwing kicks into the ribs. Bam, bam, bam. Um, and you can hear, oh, I mean, you can hear him getting hit hard. Uh, he's obviously in great pain. Uh, do your men attempt to interfere, stop anything? Um, Hat School will probably, like, look around to see if there's anyone else nearby. Um, just, like, any idea what's going on there? Cat- uh, Catalina, with her five humanities, she likely does not trust to intervene, but she's likely curious about this. Ah. Um, trying to see if she can identify what may be the source of the... Uh, fight. Um, you, they, as you stop and you listen to it, the men are hurling racial insults about uh, impure bloods and you fucking foreigners trying to invade our, our city. Um, you don't have any rights here. You're not Roman. Uh, you need to get out. There's no room for people like you here. Uh, tell us all this time. I'm curious, do they mention any specific place that the man's from? No, it's just he's a foreigner. Um, hmm. I think, yeah, council will probably just like not get too close because like you know it's not gonna risk their own necessarily risk their own life over it but just like i i think they've got the message now (laughs) just so i'm like you know i i think i think you've made your point um the guy weakly tries to fight back and uh they push him down, and they deliver a solid kick to his uh, to his rear, uh, which knocks him into face first into the gutter. Uh, his head bounces off. Uh, the gutter, of course, full of human waste and less identifiable things. And uh, they walk off, leaving him holding his ribs, trying to get a <gasps> trying to get a breath. Uh, blood, you know, coming out of his mouth. Uh, of course, he tries well, wiping his face away with a hand that's equally as dirty. Yeah, since and since they've gone now, yeah, he'll go take a look, see if it's at all, it, you know, just how hopeless is his situation right now. Um, he actually kind of holds on to you, like you bend down, like pat him on the back or whatever, and he he kind of like holds on to you, and he's like, oh, thank you. Thank you for making them stop. Uh, 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 I happen to be around. Uh, 
Mm-hmm. Open eyes, uh, child, uh, Catalina is going to approach uh, behind uh, Half uh, Chapter's house. She's going to look, she looks down the man. She considers the fact that uh, <laughs> a few bottles, I don't, I think at this point to be a century ago that she was in Greece. Yeah, just about. Wow. She would consider perhaps the possibility that she perhaps would have faced a similar uh, greeting to Rome at this time. Tell me, out of curiosity, how did they come to the conclusion that you are a, fun, a foreigner? Oh, uh, I'm, I'm from, uh, oh, 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 from up north. Oh, my name's Volpiscus. Oh, and you can say he's try, having trouble breathing. Obviously, his ribs are, he's probably got a couple of broken ribs. Uh, there's a, uh, we just, just want, you know, the rights, we have, we pay taxes, and, you know, we just, we just want to be held like Romans are. Oh, oh, thank you so much, and he, he like, uh, kind of pulls himself up while holding on to you, you know, weakly. Catalina's going to go over to the tavern to buy him a drink. Um, he takes it, uh, uses it to wipe his face off a little bit, uh, knocks it back. Uh, he's still holding his ribs. He's still hurt, obviously. Man, he's starting to feel, get his breath back. He's like, oh, please, uh, let me come with you. Let me help you out, at least. I have to repay you. What can you do? Normally, I'm a pretty good talker, but uh, uh, <laughs> I know a little bit about money, and uh, I have some. Uh, I have a little bit of skill with uh, tumbling, and uh, sometimes I, I do a little juggling, and uh, I can perform. Hmm. If we might be able to. Um figure something out for now for now I would suggest following us uh, we'll need to go back to our own employers soon it's a look on her face as if Juno herself descended from the skies and put his name in front of her she is his skill set alright um, so he uh, limps behind you little bit struggles get a little bit to keep up you have to slow down so he can keep up with you how about your retainer um, Nicodemus is is it Gregorius or is it just uh, just a guy just a guy okay uh, Gregor- Gregorius has is a little bit famous it's probably too risky to send okay. him on there like this. understandable um, as you go, he stops by a couple of wine bars, and um, you see him actually getting a couple of skins to carry with him. All right, so you make your way to the banker's area. Um, you go to the first house. Uh, uh, Vopiscus stops by a fountain on your way and, and washes... Attempts to wash some of the filth off of himself. Uh, thunks his head in, you know, steps in and splashes his clothes and stuff. Uh, does as best he can to not embarrass you guys. Mm-hmm. Uh, but he does hang out in the back because he's quite aware of his station. Uh, let you guys take the lead. You uh, high up to the first uh, first home on your list to go visit. Uh, it is quite nice. Uh, thick walls, thick doors, thick shutters, uh, statues out on the outside, paintings. Uh, the man who lives here has money, that's for sure. Alina, go knock on the door. Um, it opens. It says, uh, well, the, the little peephole opens. And they say, uh, who calls upon uh, the House of the Arguli tonight? 
We are here to discuss financial matters in behalf of our uh, benefactors with your master. May I see the seal or know the password to uh, pass on to my masters? Catalin, you show her the uh, nice seal. Okay. Um, the door opens uh, after a few minutes, and you are invited in. It, it is not as opulent, it's not as nice as uh, a senator's house. Um, as you guys know, senators are forbidden to have to uh, be in any trade other than being a landlord or farming. So the person who lives here is not a senator. He is merely rich. However, the furnishings and stuff that are in here, it's not as big. But what is in here is of exquisite quality. So you're all brought in. You're shown uh, to a seat. Um, they offer refreshments. A uh, little bit of bread, maybe, if you'd like. And uh, Catalina is shown into the uh, study of the banker. And he says, um, sit, sit, uh, you have the password and you have the seal. Uh, you, I may freely discuss your uh, master's business with you. It's a seat, as offered. I understand that there has been some concerns being raised about some questions being asked of the identities of the people involved in it. Yes, quite so. There is a few people that have been going around and implying that they were going to kidnap, beat, and kill members of our families. Now, don't get me wrong. This can be a rough business, and uh, sometimes people get upset and angry. Threats are nothing new. Uh, but this was different. They were serious. Everyone has their limits, of course. I understand. Do you know much about the... What can you tell us about the individuals that were making these threats? Uh, well, the ones who stopped by my place were quite big, uh, very big men, uh, bald. Mm -hmm. uh, they demanded information. They did not give much. They have any recognizable patterns attached to them, eyes? Particular clothing, particular way of expression. Um. Well, now that you mention it, uh, I saw a tattoo on a man's hand, uh, on the back, and he rubs the back of his hand between the wrist and the knuckles. It was an eye, and I remember it was unusual. I've never seen anything like it. Hmm. Was it a human eye or an animal eye? I understand. I didn't look at it that closely. I just saw it was an eye. Ooh. Hmm. Would you remember enough about it to be able to um, sketch out a rough copy? Uh, alas, my... Uh... My inclination is towards money and not um, uh, artwork. Fair enough. Hmm. I would recognize it if I ever saw it again, but uh, of course these men were quite recognizable on their own. It's it's a tremendous help. But have they 
have they given any deadlines to your decision, to your information giving? Well, no, but like they, they implied that uh, uh, family members would start to go missing soon if we did not bend uh, and give them the information they wanted. And quite frankly, I believe them. It's unfortunate. The protection of your family members can be arranged. That's actually what I was hoping you would say, that you would uh, uh, authorize me to hire some guardsmen uh, from your funds. I've, I've, I think that's only fair. I believe my benefactor would apply to this. Yes, and perhaps we could have discussed for them to be put on your personal guard your family members, that is, to wish to uh, watch over them until this threat has been passed. Oh, well, if, uh, with the funds that uh, at our disposal, uh, I believe we can hire sufficient guardsmen to scare them off, but uh, truthfully, men such as these, in my experience, don't really give up. Uh, I thought your uh, masters would like to know that they could, that they might uh, attempt to eliminate the threat. Hmm. I mean, after all, I'd be happy to uh, keep drawing on your money. But uh, <laughs> I assume that you don't want me to keep drawing on your money and uh, for you to fund all my expenses forever. Indeed. We're going to need to figure out a solution to it, uh, when we can. <laughs> Out of character. <laughs> uh, okay, so what we've got now, it's, uh, out of character, what we've got now, Big dudes, eye tattoos. Is there anything that I'm missing from that note? Seems that it about covers it. Good ball. Um, perhaps if your uh, if your masters uh, saw fit to have an agent watching the house and the areas uh, for the next few weeks. They would, uh, we'd be happy to give a signal when these men came around again. I believe that can be arranged. Yeah. Uh, uh, out of curiosity, what time of the day did these men came upon you? Uh, it was close to close of business, so that would make it uh, nearly high noon. When the sun it's had already set. High noon. Sorry. When the sun had already set. No, no, high noon. Like midday. Yes, midday. Okay. Midday. Sorry, my mistake. I see. You talk to a benefactors. And see about posting guards around here to watch over during the midday of the coming uh, coming days. That would be splendid. Uh, in the meantime, I shall endeavor to continue to serve you loyally. Uh, your family. Uh, have been loyal customers of mine, and I have profited greatly, and I, it would pain me most deeply to lose your business. Of course, of course. Does he seem honest? If you were to give him to I, I, I'm sure he's honest on the fact that he likes money. If you were to give in to his demands, losing your money would be the least of the losses that you'd suffer.
after all, reputation is important in this business, isn't it? Uh, madam. Reputation is important. As the reputation of a banker is as important as the reputation of his customers. And no banker takes kindly to his customers being impetuous in their speech. Was it? Was it a burn? And do not mean to be impetuous. So we understand each other, because I believe I understand you quite well. We are in this together. We all wish for this unpleasantness to end as soon as possible. And we all wish to continue doing business with each other. Excellent. While you are here, would you like to see the books that you may verify? Uh, or uh, will you wait for the normal monthly accounting? I suppose I might as well take care of these duties while they're here, if that would not be any trouble to you. Not at all. Please, uh, let me show you to the private affair and I will open the books for you. Uh, in the meantime, if the rest of your group would like to wait outside. Uh, this repeats for each person's private banker, because as we said, you're not all in the same, uh, you know, and it's pretty much the same conversation. Uh, as you guys uh, exit, um, the uh, man you picked up, uh, Vopiscus, uh, has taken the opportunity to acquire several jars of wine. And he offers them to all of you to uh, drink a toast to your good business. Okay. That's obviously. <laughs> he, has, yeah. he has picked this up as you were walking from the wine places, by the way. And he didn't just draw these out of thin air. You literally saw him stop and buy the shit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so it's not like... Yeah. But still, I want to roll... A, a, I don't have a sheet for this for this school yet. Shit. Um, so we. Okay. What do you think would be a good dice pool for essential ghouls perception empathy? Four. Okay. Then I can spend a willpower. Yeah. Like to see if he's trying to fuck us over. Uh, so Ghoul gets three successes, actually. Okay. As far as your Ghoul is concerned, um, he's happy for you and is offering you a toast to your good business. Mm. And for the record, he grabs one that he bought and he is uncorking it and he's preparing to drink it himself. It's a cheap wine. It's literally stuff that he picked up as you guys were walking. <laughs> could yeah. be good. Could be bad. He doesn't know. <laughs> this could this could all just be a massive red herring. Okay. In he, he, he doesn't have the eye tattoo, right? <laughs> no, he does not. Um, he is actually wearing your standard everyday tunic, which is no sleeves. His arms are bare. Um, He's got a little a money pouch tucked in. He's got a, the standard belt knife that everybody in Rome wears. Like, yeah, there, there's, he's a dude. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. Um, once I've determined, sure, uh, yeah, how how school will accept. Okay, down the hatch. He, you know, cheers. Ah. You know, clinks the glasses with everyone. He downs his. Italian will politely decline. Well, that's okay. More for me. No. 
Nicodemus' return will, will down his as well. Okay. I love how suspicious we are of this guy. Yeah, so freaking paranoid. He takes your empty jars, and as you guys are walking along, he's juggling them. <laughs> and they're, they're not, they're like little cups, right? They're like clay cups. And uh, as you guys are walking along, he, he's stumbling a little bit, and he's juggling them as you guys go. Uh, his ribs still hurt, obviously. He's still kind of hunched over and doing this. <laughs> Oh, God. I don't care if this guy's planning to betray us anymore. He's funny. <laughs> How about you, Vlad? Uh, did your retainer drink of it? Uh, I mean, well, I'm, I'm dead. <laughs> yes, but your retainer doesn't know that. Okay. Um, does, I mean, does, okay, does my retainer have some kind of connection with this guy? He's a dude that you picked up on the street. Yeah, he's not going to drink. And he offered he he's, offered he's, you wine that he literally saw him buy. Yeah, uh, he's uh, he's just going to act like you know very. Uh, what's the word for it? Okay, what's the I word believe he should roll it? etiquette. Yeah, etiquette. Yeah, that's... I believe I believe he should roll that. Right, what's the etiquette draw? Uh, intelligence plus etiquette. All right. Well, what? How much dice do I roll? Uh, I don't know. I put it on your sheet. Oh, okay. <clears throat> My sheet is done. Okay. Um, let's see. Uh, intelligence etiquette. Yep. Okay. Uh, so you got. Okay. Let's do it manually. Okay. I guess this one success. It would be incredibly rude not to drink it. Sure. Okay. He's going to take a, a tiny amounts of wine if it's possible. Like. Okay, it's like one cup, that's it. Yeah, that's all it is, uh, it's one cup. He's not getting you drunk. Okay? <laughs> He's not going to get you drunk. He's not going to roofie you. This is literally one serving of wine. One glass. Here you go. Cheers. Okay. Thank you. All right, this is not Red Dead Redemption 2, and he didn't drug you. Well, tell that in 10 minutes if I don't piss off. Nope, nobody passes out. <laughs> nobody... I don't know. Does any, does any, do any of our retainers have, like, stamina one? Yeah, nobody passes out. Nothing weird happens. Yay, he cheered. You guys drank wine. Sweet. <laughs> and he's like, hey, listen, uh, ugh. I need to go get some sleep because, you know, I need to go find some work tomorrow so I can eat. Um, I'm staying, uh, at such and such place, uh, it's by the, uh, uh, actually it's just down the road really here. Um, so, I, I tell you guys what, if, uh, if you want to come, you know, drink again tomorrow night, uh, we can meet right here in this area. These are uh surprisingly pleasant, a pleasant evening. Uh, if I am available tomorrow night, I'll be sure to stop by. Oh, okay. <clears throat> well, listen, I, I'm going to do that. And then, like, I'm, I hear tell there's a good healer, like, on an island somewhere, some college something or other. Uh, island? So... I, I may have to go see them because, like, this really fucking hurts. And, like, yeah. So, uh, but anyways, I'll try to meet you here tomorrow night. <laughs> I can, I can, I can, I can help you with that. It's actually my way. Uh, really? Because, oh, man, that would be awesome. Oh, It's it's not specifically an island. Uh, it actually, Only the Collegium Medicus is on an island on the, in the Tiber at a temple of Asclepius. Uh, how, how far away is that island? 
it's actually not terribly far from here. It's like 20 minutes walk. And by island, I shouldn't think something huge, right? Right. Well, I'm afraid we have to take. A, we may have to take a slight detour because um, it's it's a bit more troublesome to get there nowadays. Yeah, to get there, you actually have to pass um, by the Forum Brarium, which is Gangrel territory, as you know. Um, and you actually pass. You are on the opposite bank of um, Ihamas' domain. So to get to Ihamas' place, you have to cross the river, and you can actually see it from where you're at <laughs> once you get there. Um, so <clears throat> the temple is actually on... I'm going to ping it. That island. That's where the Collegium Medicus is. Mm -hmm. where, where? I didn't see that. Oh, there we go. One thing I really need to do is get a really good map so I can label regions. It's going to be hard. <laughs> That's on my to-do list. It's going to be hard, I know. But yeah, there's a, there's a substantial island in the middle of the Tiber River, and one of the buildings on the island is a temple to Escapulus, which is, of course, a god of healing. And one of the laws that is, gets passed in real life relatively soon, as far as this game goes, is it is a law against abandoning your six slaves on the island. Because <laughs> what people okay. are doing is they're like, eh, you're sick and you're not getting any better. Um, yeah, listen, I'm going to drop you off on this island over here, and I don't want you coming back, so there you stay. <laughs> <laughs> If, if you happen to make a recovery, sure, but you probably won't, so, uh, bye! Yeah, exactly. They're gonna save me the trouble of, of uh, having you burned. Isn't that freedom? Kinda-ish. Only if you survive is the issue. <laughs> and even then, I don't think you'd legally be free, necessarily, because yeah. there's a whole nice mission process. Uh, yeah, because you still owe the temple. So, alright. Uh, yeah. You guys, uh, head on back to the um, Haven, uh, to report what has gone on. Uh, I take that back. We do have to make that side trip. So you head to the uh, temple. Uh, you're dragging uh, Vopiscus with you. Uh, Vopiscus has a couple of uh, coins on him. Not much more. He's, he's almost broke. And he does uh, pay the fee to have his ribs in, uh, bound up. Uh, a bone setter there, like, feels around. Of course, the guy's like, oh, God, it hurts so bad. And they bound him up for him, and that's pretty much it. <laughs> no magic healing, no, I mean, there's only so much you can do for ribs. Mm -hmm. But anyways, you guys are headed back to your haven, and he lets you do that. He does not follow you. All right. As you guys walk in, um, there are the last few remnants of a greasy smear on the ground that uh, a couple of the cult members are scrubbing away. <laughs> Are they, you know, pushing it? Is it hard? It's it's greasy, nasty ash. <laughs> so they have shoveled it up, thrown it out in the street, and uh, have a bucket and a brush, and they're trying to wash it away, wash it off the stones uh, the, of the ground. And Vlad's detail was like, oh, my master is dead yeah. again. <laughs> yeah, you know, he has no idea <laughs> unless somebody tells him. Yeah, he's like, well, guys, uh, it's nice. It was nice to have a moment with you. It's kind of, you know, uh, hard to be in the home. You must understand, you know, too much screams, all that 
the corpse smell doesn't go away, all that challenge was, yeah, that's the master. You went to the... Vlad went to the farm upstate. <laughs> Wait, can you repeat that please? Vlad went to the farm upstate. He just looks blank. Um, well, I should go home at some point. I think if there is nothing more we should discuss about economics. Yes, uh, we need to give a report to our, to our own um, math, masters and mistresses, and I'm sure uh, yours will wish the same. I'm sure, I'm sure he is quite uh, interested in his assets, yes. I hope, I, I think he said to me tonight that this was going to be a lucky night. This was going to be his lucky night. He should be, he should be having a good time, I think. Yeah, this pro monster is experiencing. <laughs> Uh. Alright, so uh, your guy takes off, uh, and when he gets back to the farm, he gets a, a rude shock that there is uh, somebody chained to a table, uh, slowly undergoing a rather nasty and horrifying change. Um, roll me a d10, please. Vlad? Me? Yes, okay. Mr. Carsign. Roll on d10. Seven, what does it mean? <laughs> oh, outstanding. Oh, I gotta find your character sheet. Do, 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 do. There are some flaws, come on. Eventually I'll have this memorized. <laughs> Unrecognizable by even those closest to the character. Ethnicity right. and gender may change. You look... The next morning, or the next evening, when you rise, um, you have a couple of things you have to do. Um, you know one of them is to rip your eyeball out. As you do. Yeah. Um, you are... A uh, woman with uh, all the accoutrements thereof. Um, but your face is like Elephant Man, if you know if you know the reference. Um, Not truly. Really. Lumpy, misshapen, bulges everywhere, like just hideous. Like we're talking appearance, uh, appearance zero point five. <laughs> okay. Um, would it be a masquerade breach? No, you're just hideous. Just like, oh my god, that freak okay. belongs in a circus. Oh, oh my god. Okay. Because as long as it's not a masquerade breach, uh, I don't care about to change my appearance because, well, metamorphosis. Yeah. Yeah. Nobody's gonna look at you and say that's a vampire, but they are gonna look at you and be like, get that hideous freak away from me. <laughs> It's okay. It's okay. It's, well, I'm used to that. <laughs> or perhaps even more awkwardly, try to convince you to go to a house of healing. Ah, this again. Such experiences always excites me. And I will head to the group haven eventually. In the meantime, in the meantime, um, Alethia does leave you guys with a couple of questions to consider. How are you going to attract the werewolves? Who is going to be on crowd control? Um, what kind of plan is there to combat them? Do you even know how many you're going to attract? Uh, questions to consider. 
I believe the plan to attack then is to use the idea of getting a neonate uh, to Yakta's bait by having him deliver a shipment of silver that would uh, to the well of territory. Okay. Oh, that's a good idea. You just have to get somebody stupid enough to do it. Yes. <laughs> I saw the plan to and cloud control. The question is, by cloud control, I imagine that she means either uh, the humans or she means the werewolves. Yes. Both. Both. Luckily, okay, perhaps. Okay. Uh, sorry. Uh, no, no, you go ahead. So, when I realized my mic had uh, <laughs> cut out again, um, Fabiano kind of weighs in and says, Are we really certain uh, risking kindred life is the way to go here? Obviously, speaking from her own experience of losing her uh, you, child at, uh, in you, 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 through it. You shouldn't mention that you will get beheaded. All I mean is, couldn't we sacrifice some uh, humans? It's, yeah. it's something we'll have to consider. Um. Regardless, thank you for your time and advice, Alicia. Oh, I'll be back uh, in a week or two. We give you some time to consider it and uh, make your appropriate arrangements. Mm -hmm. Of course, of course. Um, till then, farewell. Have a good night, Alicia. I am sorry for the messy behavior of one of the Cotterie members. Test Cotterie members. Alicia, she just <laughs> nods. Yeah. I wish I could say he learned his lesson. Well, well, who knows? Who knows? He might have left a wraith. A what? No, wait, never mind. I don't want to know. Just, uh, uh, leave me a message at the uh, temple. And she, uh, she uh, goes off to go mind her own business. <clears throat> how, how, exactly do you, how exactly do you see this bait working? If it's just the, if it's just the, um, the shipment we want, we don't really need additional involvement. What do you mean, just the, the shipment do you want? Well, how do you envision the plan of attack? The, the bait goes in, the werewolves attack it, and we attack the werewolves. That's, 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 that's the general idea, right? Sounds Pretty much. Familiar. That's pretty much the general idea, yes. I was expecting that, uh, I was expecting that the presence of Gale and the presence of Alithia and whoever else she, does, she brings along with her will stand a better chance than what you did last time. Mm -hmm. we, we are going to need to consider some additional preparations that we can make, but... but... <laughs> tactics wouldn't uh, hurt. In the meantime, in the meantime, I believe we should uh, listen to the report from uh, from our retainers. Of course, let us call them in. Uh, so yeah, they deliver the uh, report exactly as you guys heard. Um, including the uh, odd juggler that they met. Mm -hmm. um, and the fact that uh, said juggler uh, has offered to meet them again if they have time. Interesting. Did they mention where they were from? 
Um, they did, as a matter of fact, mention where they were from. from. Uh, I am looking that up here as in a second. It was a region to the north. Uh, north? Yeah. The, uh, I believe it was called the Sokai region. I believe is the uh, correct term for it. Uh, approximately uh, four or five days travel by foot. Technically, it is a client state of Rome. I'm just thinking, was that a place that we heard Mithras was around? Or was that a bit further out? Oh no, he's like way north, like past the Alps. <laughs> okay. Um, in that case, then the situation with the eye, that is another interesting one. We're certainly going to need to take a hmm? Go ahead. We're certainly going to need to take up this offer of, uh, having someone sta stationed to, uh, observe the goings-on. Needs to be a mortal, obviously. Ah, uh, cool. Yeah. I, I wonder if that mark could be perhaps a a live mark of some kind. Perhaps we could uh, if we to check the table the stable of this lead of local slavers. We might discover similar marks. How does this I symbol tie into the to the whole theological problem, the cult thing? Is it a symbol of a cult of any way, in any way, or a society perhaps? Has any of us heard about it? Symbol of the I. That the only... is an interesting question, and I think um, Hatshepsut should roll intelligence and theology. Oh God. Can I assist her? No. <laughs> no, you cannot. Rock your brain. Oh, that'd be perfect. Uh, um, that'd be perfect role for Labiana. <laughs> uh, difficulty six, I'm presuming. Uh, just roll at six, and I'll tell you if you did good or not. And does this in any way? Count as set or under Setite law. Yes, it does. Oh! That is three successes. Yay! What do an, a hawk and an eye symbol have to do with Setite lore and somebody who might be going after Ihamas? Oh, shit. Yep, yep. Osiris? Uh, it was not, not Osiris, but. Yep, as Hats putting the pieces together has uh, something that was starting to go around in my mind. This, this might be bad. This is worse than I thought. Okay. Okay, hold on. Oh dear. Take oh, a deep breath and... <laughs> it doesn't work for vampires. Kind of and start <laughs> from the this. beginning. Uh, yeah, calm down. Who did we piss Slow off? Slow down. Oh. With the combination of eye and hawk, or similar raptor bird, there are... Oh, I just need to check something real quick. Ooh, suspense. Who might be the Avenger? Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> to be continued next week. Yeah. Sorry, I, I'm just a, a little. I was not. 
when the eye was mentioned, I sort of had that just occur as a possibility, but... Oh dear. Come on, spit it out. You can do this, you can do this! Alright, there are... There are... There are two deities I know of associated with eyes, the sun, and birds of prey. Both of them happen to hate, happen to have a particular venom towards uh, my clan and the Helmuses, Ra and Horus. I was going to say, out of character, I certainly knew which one of them, that what uh, one of them was. <laughs> Never heard about them. What's their problem with the rest of us? Is it the because of you and and the link to Ihamas? But we've been distancing to, we've been distanced to him. For a while now. Mm, it's there's a lot that could go into this, but um, one thing I will note is that if this is at all going along those lines, we we aren't entirely um, uh, our own cult is not entirely in keeping with traditional. Ro uh, Roman practices, per se, and that is the kind of thing that they would have a that is the kind of thing that they would have a particular. Mm, Arrogant. Yes, that um, they are both highly concerned with keeping things exactly the same. If they are not related to, they are not related to Mithras himself. That means we do not need to worry about Mitra's retribution, should we act against them. This is true, of course, on the off chance that Mithras has made an alliance with them, that makes it even worse. In fact, he said that he would recognize the eye symbol if he saw it, yes? Uh, your retainer nods, yes, yes, that's what he said. Alright, so I'm going to draw out both an eye of Horus and an eye of Ra. And basically say, um, next time you see them... Um, ask them if it was either of these two. Yes, mistress, of, of course. That's, we, I shall do it as you command. This also... Oh. This also brings up another question. Oh, dear. Well, if some of my early suspicions about, uh, that one woman were correct, then she might well not be very grateful to us. So, I, I thought you mentioned this was desires, right? They are... They are of the same league, so to speak. You think she's allied with them? Possibly. I... This is all just... That part is just speculation, but... Oh dear. I assume the messengers tell us about uh, Gracchus, uh, Gracchus being back in town? Um, yes, they do. Hmm. I wonder if this is linked. She was the protector and or secretary, assistant of the late Tiberius, perhaps. I wonder if she's with him. Perhaps we should send some, uh, someone to get close to uh, the brother. See if he, she, he spots anyone that would match the description of this woman being around him. Well. Yeah, yeah, definitely pick up some info. Uh, if he's really back, he's going to have an issue with the law, so... Um, I don't think it's going to be too hard to learn about that. 
Mm. There's something else I'm going to need to investigate personally, just to satisfy lingering, an extra lingering paranoia. Well, hopefully she's not too mad about her lost arm. Ah, <sighs> oh, Jesus. If anything, she should be thanking us after all that we did for that ungrateful little brat. Exactly. We did, after all, save her life. For the record, you guys have no evidence that she's magic at all. <laughs> no direct evidence, yeah, but... <sighs> Look, when things start... We're already dealing with wild shit. Might as well account for a while, do you know? Ugh. So then, uh, what time in the night is it? Uh, it is approximately three hours after sunset. So you've got about six more hours of darkness. Okay. Just on the wild off chance that everything's going to be wrapped up into it itself, um, I'm going to try and engage my contacts to see if there's, see if I can find out anything in relation to these strange figures and Bella. It's unlikely, but I've got to check my bases at this point. Okay. Um, go ahead and roll your straight-up contacts and allies. All right, so just contacts, got it. <laughs> Woo! Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Job. There it goes. No. Nope. Yeah, unfortunately, um, no new information. Oh well. I mean, you do know what's obviously publicly available. Uh, very important family. Mm -hmm. um, very well known as a family. Mm -hmm. Very rich. Very successful. Yep. Um, all right, I'm gonna, in fact, I'm, yeah, in fact, regardless, I am going to need to let it have us know that, uh, because at this point shit's gotten real. Okay, are you going in person or are you sending help? Werewolves, <sighs> lupines on the way. Would would anyone like to accompany me? I accompany you if you so desire. Though, depending on the specifics of uh, what comes up, I may need to ask you to. Um, to the no, to not listen it to, um, be outside the room for uh, the conversation. Only if something particularly secret comes up. I'm sure you understand. Not prior to the secrets of your clan. So yeah, um, Alana and Hat will uh, head over to Helmuth, I guess. Okie dokie. You have an uneventful trip over there. Um. So I'm going to yeah, I'm going to yeah. You know, Knock or I don't know if it uses a, if he has a bell, whatever. Alert at the door. Wait for the servant. Yep, you are shown in with all due courtesy, um, as you have become accustomed to. Mm -hmm. um, it does not take long for Ihamas to come out, and uh, 
he is uh, beaming, and that's that fatherly grin, uh, exuding the aura of a uh, uncle, perhaps, or a uh, uh, trusted parental figure. Mm -hmm. um, greet you uh, both courteously, and uh, my darlings, what, uh, especially my darling sister Hatshepsut, what brings you to my place so late? I wish it could be holy good news, but, well, I will cut largely to the chase. There's been a very worrying discovery I've made about, uh, potentially made, about the people interfering with us, or, well, were interfering with you, though, if I'm right, they may try again. <sighs> Mm. If you may, Albina, um, I would prefer that you stay out for this small bit. I will let you know when it, we're back to issues that I can fully share. Not, Not quite sensitive. Albina gives both of them a nod, and she steps outside. How, so, how, we'll take a deep breath. Um, just look at how it's like, just straight on. I have significant reason to believe that this cult is, affil is affiliated with the forces of either Horus or Ra or both. In a direct manner, mind you, not just the way in which they have their influence over so many things. I'm afraid you will have to be a little more specific. Which cult? The Cult of Sol Mithras. Does this have anything to do with the OPS issue we discussed? Yes, that is what I meant, yes. Ah. Um. Okay. To so could sum you up, could you link them for me? Um. I. Well, first off, emotion mm -hmm. is good. Do not let it control you. Of course. Calm. Calm. Sit. Do you desire, do you need uh, perhaps a uh, servant to refresh, uh, to refresh your thirst? On this occasion, it might actually be good, yes. Good, good. Just take a moment to relax. Let me, let me, let me take care of you. Thank you. Uh, uh, a few minutes go by, and a uh, Marthia brings in a uh, trembling teenage girl of about fifteen. Um, she's a beauty. She has a uh, uh, loincloth around her, and that's pretty much it. Everything else is bare. Two bloods. Uh in too much of a state to worry about any issues or any other issues right now. Just take two bloods to top myself up a little bit. Um, and so you just have at it. Whack! Ah! Right? Just... Um, as it leads you out, the poor girl who is both traumatized... Well, who is a, a actually extremely traumatized at uh, both the pleasure of the kiss and the ferocity of you taking it. Um, Ihamas, uh, being Ihamas, uh, obviously chose this for a purpose, and, uh, leaves Larthia to handle, uh, the lesson here. Now that you are refreshed and perhaps maybe a little calmer, yes. let us discuss um... from the beginning. Well, near the start, 
I suppose I should start with the fact that uh, I and my coterie members received word near the start of the night that uh, our accounts were being, the people holding our accounts, so to speak, were being put under pressure, threatened to divulge information, and that while they hadn't said anything yet, the situation needed to be dealt with soon. We sent our retainers to go try and get some more information about this. In the meantime, I decided to try and consult the stars for information on what on where I might find further info on the cult. And I was told to and they told me to look under the sign of the hawk or similar raptor birds. At first, I didn't really make the connection there, but, uh, well, one of the particular notes that was made by our personal bankers about these, these men that came and threatened them is that they all had tattoos of an eye on them. Now, each of these individual elements on their own would be insignificant. However, here we have a sun, a sun deity under the house of a hawk with an eye of their symbol. I'm sure you can understand my suspicions, to say the least. Oh, I do, quite, quite so, and if I were one of the Aeons, uh, I might even uh, force, attempt to force more proof, but we don't need that, do we? Set is looking out for us. Our enemies believe they have us within striking distance. Indeed. He is super calm, confident even, just... Y you know, you uh, have to know, you have to be thinking, what is this guy up to? He's He's got a plan. Well, it sounds like you have something in mind. Great Set, in his wisdom, blessed us with the ability to persuade certain people to our side. Yes? Indeed. My under I understand that you have been utilizing uh, your gifts. Perhaps it's time that uh, we combine our efforts and I don't know, um, get the word to the uh, Praetor Urbanus that a, uh, somebody is threatening the monetary supply of uh, the Roman markets. I believe he would be highly interested in uh, such nefarious wrongdoings, don't you agree? Indeed, indeed. Uh, Hat is herself beginning to get calmer as she sees or as she begins to see more and more of what Ahanus is doing. Let us not be drawn into a challenge on their grounds. Um, obviously, they seek to provoke you. Attacking your personal resources, attacking your cult. What, what are they trying to provoke, and how are they... Obviously, they're provoking you, but what are they trying to get you to do? If I am right, I think they're trying to get you to come after them. Physically. That would make sense, yes. Uh, indeed, I'm 
not too proud to admit that uh, before I thought to consult with you on this, my first thought when I made the connection was to start tearing through the streets. No, no. So listen. Perhaps it's best if the advice comes from you and not from me. But... Uh, you might be able to string them along, pretend to be interested in them. Uh, act as if uh, such actions do not bother you. And in the meantime, pull what levers you have to bring other attention onto them. Attention they may not appreciate. Yes. Yes, I, I see. I can see the merit in this. Thank, thank you once more. Your, your advice, particularly on these more, shall we say, practical matters, is always greatly appreciated. One last thing. Cult leader to cult leader. Who's running the cult of Mithras? That is one thing that which that we've been having difficulty fully establishing, because, well, if Mithras is doing it himself, he's doing it from a remarkable distance. He has a childa in Rome, does he not? This is true. Which would be the next place to look. I see our... I see our thoughts run along the same path. Indeed. If if they Which have his backing, um, it will not be easy to get uh, authorities to look at to look at them. On the other hand, depending on what uh, means we find at our disposal, that in itself may well give another avenue of attack. It might. And now, um, perhaps you should uh, return and speak with Albina and Labiena. I have found Labiena to have a remarkably clear-sighted outsider perspective on such things. Sometimes she has a way of looking at things that are can provide valuable alternatives. Indeed. I suppose I should uh, get back get to work. This is not exactly well, time to be careful, yes, but it wouldn't do to completely delay. Well, let me escort you back. Thank you. Um, he sees you both out the door, uh, again, respectfully. Uh, I see Sprout outside. I'm not going to look over to Archefsu. So, how do you do? How do you feel after talking to Alhamus? More prepared, I've he's given me some things to. I've talked with him about uh, the issue, went over some ideas, and well, I think I've at least got the start of a plan for us, for how we can deal with this. What do you have? First off, we note that. We should, we need, right now we need to avoid drawing, we need to avoid falling for their, their bait. They're trying to provoke us with all this, to act with too much haste. What we need, we need to, we need to, in a sense I suppose, throw the spotlight onto them. And any 
give them attention that they may perhaps find uncomfortable. Another thing that was noted is that we should... Well, one thing that uh, we, uh, we both noticed was that it would be a good idea to investigate the child of Mithras. It is highly likely that he is somehow tied up in all of this. Yes, the issue investigating is that his head is quite high above us. Reaching for him might not be as, as easy as reaching for someone else that is in our level. Perhaps, but in certain senses, in certain senses, one could say that uh, one could say that in certain senses, the Gracchi brothers were above our level. We still managed with we still well up until the end, there managed with them. They are mortals. It's different, but I see your point. I. Hmm. She is the silent for a second as she thinks. Perhaps it might be able to ask for my mistress to assist us in this matter once this level of problem is dealt with. She might be willing to prove, uh, lend us some of her influence and resources into investigating the child of Mithras. Mm -hmm. You should look to see if, uh, La I wonder if Labiana has any thoughts on this. On that thought, let's take 10, come back in 10 minutes. Okay, we're back, ready to go. You guys were getting ready to go talk to Labiana. So you're back at the Haven, settled in. Getting ready for a consult. Mm -hmm. We believe that we have a more <laughs> ideas of how to proceed from here. To investigate the charter of Mitris as I had planned before, but I personally think that perhaps trying to enlist the assistance of my sire, my mistress, would be the most wise course of action to investigate him. Okay. Do we have any specific child of Mithras in mind, or are we looking at all of them? There's only one child of Mithras. At least one that, that we're at this point. one that we're aware of, anyway. Also, MP, I think you're a little close to your mic. Really? Oh. Now it's fine. Oh, I was going to say that. Or it usually is, so. Um, anyways. <laughs> mm. But, um. Okay. We've also got we've also got it established that we should probably be careful they're likely trying to trying to they're um likely trying to bank on us um going to chase after them directly trying to lure us out with uh their their meddling you mean this this could be a trap precisely um the advice the advice that uh the, the advice that we that i was given was that uh we should focus more on putting the spotlight on them in ways that they won't be comfortable with if you see what i mean mm. Get the give make it look like they are people not to be trusted. 
Brinca de isso. Agora eu vou usar. Should, uh, should the idea to bring this to the high ups authorities to the make sure that uh, it's understood that this might be possibly a possibility to harm other clients of the bankers or indeed the general market of Rome. So I, I believe you mentioned something about they were trying to garner information from these associates of ours. Do we know what kind of information they were seeking? That is a good question. Did we get any information from us? I believe it was said that they were trying to get uh, information of who we, who is really behind the, the cash that's flowing. Yeah, I believe that was it. Trying to dig into the sources of our wealth. Uh, it's kind of interesting. Uh, it's kind of interesting because uh, how would they know where to look in the first place? Uh, was it because it was tied with the activity of the, of the cult. They just do a white search first, which means that they possibly get at other uh, uh, bankers, personal bankers. Perhaps we could use this to our advantage. Perhaps we could uh, lead them in a different direction, as it were. Mm -hmm. Let them follow a trial which leads them to false information. Indeed, or depending on if uh, they're if they're starting to cause trouble for well, most of the. Uh, Bankers, even in small amounts, that is something that we can bring to the attention of those in power. This is set a trap of our own, as it were. Exactly. The problem with providing false information is that would would. would wish to be the bearer of information to them. We could uh, just start making usage of one of the other bankers and gently lay some uh, bread comes leading to them. Let them make the move on that on these unrelevant banker, the one that we uh, a recently acquired one, the one that we have not put into much investment in. And when they make the move, we have a, a cause spell, so to speak. That may, that may be a solid option, though, again, depending on precisely who they're affecting right now, the, what was it, what was it? What was it called? The Praetor Urban or whatever? Praetor Urbanus. Hmm. The Praetor Urb Urbanus may be very interested in these, all these goings on. Why would he be again? That there's someone running around and extorting money, right? Come on, the other thing. Okay, so this is this is this is one idea. The other idea I had was uh, there are still there, there are still activities that uh, hit directly uh, the Collegium and what other establishment was it? Albinas, Albinas Temple. 
that the, so, someone was someone was blocking access to it. Chris. Um, they weren't physically blocking access to anything. They were trying to put pressure on the bankers to find out who was handling your money. And um Oh, I'm referring to the thing that was during the during the during the previous session where oh, you yeah. said that uh, that they were uh, hitting our domains in the way that they were blocking physical access to them to those who use the uh, the facilities. No, you're not barricaded in the facilities. Um, Basically, they called crowds to, like, demonstrate outside your house, but you can get in and out. Yeah, I think you, he means the... When that speaker uh, started trying to talk us, uh, the people out of joining us, start talking about how you're leading the girls of Roma Street. Oh, well, I mean... I meant something else entirely. I During the previous session, you mentioned that it to Nicodemus that people that uh, some some men are preventing access to the collegia and that something similar happened to Albina or I'm making things up I, I don't recall that at all to be honest with you um, and now the men were threatening the people at the collegiate they were they were issuing threats um, Raising hell. Yeah, raising That's hell. Weird. That was that was something else completely. What you said, but okay. I, well, I'm looking back on my notes. There was something that Collegia is doing poor because they are blocking. Well, okay, you know how somebody opens a business and they'll put people on the outside to threaten and be like, you don't want to go in there, man. They do terrible shit to you. Oh no, I didn't know that, man. I'm out of here. Right. That's that. When I say blocking, like they're not literally barricading the streets and physically preventing access. They're trying to intimidate people. Convincing people mm -hmm. not to go in. Now, that being said, there's still plenty of people there if you wanted to hunt there. But they are they are exerting that's that's one of the ways they exert pressure. But but there So if we can figure out more wet, more instances of them using such tactics and uh, maybe if necessary exaggerate a few, we might be able to convince the Praetor that uh, they are a threat to the city's um, prosperity. Uh, that's one way of going. Uh, the other is to try and spread rumors that there is a, a new new gang in town, and perhaps that other gangs can uh, be made aware of them. I'm not sure how crim cr criminal world works in Rome, but surely there are some territories. Okay, never mind. Let's go with the Praetor then. Alright, so we should first try and use our contacts to try and figure out any additional messes they've been making for people. So from from the start, I, I suggested that we should have eyes on activities of Sol Mitras. I mean, they have preaching sermons and whatnot. Uh, mm -hmm. can, can we hire some, some retainers to follow them? Not, not to, not too closely, but just to observe. Oh yeah, absolutely. You can hire a couple of people. Um, they'll be glad to take your money to 
go to the major public places where um, people give speeches and stuff and recruit for candidates and things like that. Um, they'll be glad to go and eat their food and, you know, it's, it's easy money. I'm surprised some guy just watch over the banker guy. Yeah. Well, they're handling that. They are, with your permission. Oh. Okay. I have my mistake. I yeah, thought... no, with your permission, they're accessing your accounts to uh, go ahead and get uh, people. All right. All right, so the plan is you're going to hire people to watch the public places. You're going to try to get a note to the uh, uh, Praetor Urbanus, let him know, hey, somebody's messing with the money lenders and the money changers. You know, this is something you will definitely want to know about. What's the third thing you're doing? Are these guys to, right? Are, are these guys who are uh, well the threatening people at the entrance to the collegia? Uh, do they have the eye mark? The eye tattoo? Uh, well, hang on a moment. Are you going to send somebody to go find out, or are you going to go look yourself? Mm, gonna go look. Uh, gonna go look myself uh wear some kind of face for this perhaps someone who is seemingly ill yeah, okay Let's see if can get a confrontation going um uh, right. splatter some blood on the on the uh on the clothes and soon we will get a good disguise so there is a um bunch of shifty looking people as you get closer and closer uh they don't bother you but you're like I'm glad I'm, I'm I'm glad I don't look like I have money. Um So you guys uh you make it down to the islands. You cross the uh, rickety wooden bridge. Uh, get across it. Uh, there's some people there that are awake. Uh, they have a fire burning in the middle of the street. And as you approach, they're like, they kind of stop you. They get in the way. Hey, you don't want to go in there, man. The place is cursed. What are you saying? You mean cursed? I, I, I'm just looking for some doctors. Oh, there's doctors there, all right, but they're putting curses on people. Why do you think people keep coming back, man? Uh, give me uh, perception and alertness. This should be pretty easy for you. We're going to say difficulty four. You know what to look for. I was going to say, what kinds of curses? What are you talking about? And they're like, yeah, dude, look at look at all the freaking balconies up there. Look at all the sick people. They, they don't they don't make people healthy in there. They don't they don't get you out of there. This is they're just gonna make it worse, dude. You're you're better off going down and uh, finding the the people selling amulets in the uh, Subura. You know, at least you have a chance of that working. The the what now? Sorry, what's that? Subura. The amulet market. Hmm. The, uh, or in the daytime, the poor people market. Bura, but th these are collegia. What, what, what kind of curses are you talking about? Everyone's been saying there are good people in there, and, and suddenly some curses. What? Oh, I'm sure what they say they're good people. But look, man, look at these guys. They haven't left in, in weeks. You know, my brother, man, he went in there with a, a broken arm. Man, he came out. They cut it off.
Right? They, they, they don't care about you. They just want your money. These guys are, at, at best, they're fakes. At worst, they're making this, you're making you sicker. Do you have any proof? Now, now you've got me scared. <laughs> proof? Look, open your eyes, man. And he, he's, like, he's like gesturing to the building. Open your eyes. You can smell the sickness coming out of there. Take a deep whiff of it. Because Go, you gotta save yourself and get the hell out of here. No, oh, man, I don't, I don't know if I have strength to go any place else. I think I'd rather take these chances with them here. Well, look, man, I, I won't. I can't stop you from going in there. I can't. I'm telling you that they are taking foreigners like yourself. They're making it worse. They're not. They're not. They're not. They're not helping. Uh, these people are for Romans only. They don't give a crap about you or me, anybody who's not a Roman citizen. So you might you might want to take your chances elsewhere. Except everyone. So how, how is that how is that possible? Look, man, I'm just trying to help you out. I I ain't, I ain't a priest. Dude, I ain't no priest. I ain't a doctor. I ain't a magician. Are you standing here just for this purpose? Uh, oh, oh dear, I think I'm going to faint. And so the... So Nicodemus is going to try and like trip over on the man a little bit. Like blood on his clothes and shit like that. Uh, did he actually see the... Uh, Anything he was looking for? Uh, as I typed out, there was a the man talking had an eye, but nobody else. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, can we try and smear uh, Paris Karras? Done. On him? Done. You did it. All you have to do is make your roll. You trip and faint. He crashes you because he genuinely is not a bad dude. And they drag you off to the side and lay you down. Let me find it. Mm. Not my luck. Okay. Well, in any case, you do touch him and smear a little bit of blood on him. He does not notice. They lay you down. Uh, they shove a bottle of wine, uh, uh, some wine to you, and they hold you up and, and start, like, trying to help you drink it. And they're like, look, dude, we, we can't do anything more than this. This, th this wine was to help us, you know, live tomorrow. So this is all we can do for you. But, uh... You need to get yourself out of here and get, go get yourself some real help. This place over here is no good. Uh, okay, okay. I'll pass on the wine. I, 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 I shouldn't be drinking because uh, I, I just got these herbs to help with my pain. Oh, dear. Oh, just... Okay, thank you. I'll, I'll just... I'll just... I'll just go. Okay, gonna try and remember this guy's face. And uh, gonna hop her, hop out of the range, and see if I can eavesdrop on them uh, using obfuscate. All right, um, you just that you using obfuscate. They don't really no secrets, just guys talking. Um, this guy, I'm gonna tell you, say he didn't have a tattoo on the hand. I'm gonna wreck on that a little bit, but he did have one. It was on his arm. So it may be in different places, but it's definitely a tattoo. Yeah, but no, he's the only one who has one. Nobody else does. And by the, and by the in the way that he was expressing himself, and they were addressing him, it seemed like he was their their leader, right? Correct. Mm -hmm. Just going to hang, hang about for a while, see if right. there's anything um, flipping. There see is no, there is no indication that they've penetrated your obfuscate. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Uh, they unconsciously walk around you if they do even get close to you. Uh, it's, you know, obviously that your obfuscate works the way obfuscate's designed to work. They, you do see them turning several other people away. So they do convince several people to get out, to, to, to not go in. With the Pariah's Crest, so we at least know that they're, they're doing their job well. All right. All right. Well. Onwards to back to Vlad. Vlad, you fed. And uh, uh, you elected not. not to be stealthy about it. Well, I think for the manipulation, I did not need it. Uh, you didn't say roll stealth for that one, so I thought it wasn't necessary. Well, in any case, yeah. somebody saw you. And these somebodies, plural, are not happy that you're feeding on their territory. Okay. All right, I'm, I'm <clears throat> going to the... As you get done feeding... And you shove the body away from you, ah, you know, oh, licking the blood off. Mm, oh man, just sucking oh, every last little dribble and bit, uh, and and just feeling that brush of fresh blood is just oh so so good. Um, you are approached by three different people. Okay. One of whom looks vaguely, or the face vaguely reminds you of a cat. There's just something about it. Okay, One has this arrogant cast to his uh, body. A cast, okay, not cat. Right, a uh, cast, um, walk, a way of carrying himself. Actually, two of them okay. do. Okay, okay. Okay. And the one that looks has a face that just vaguely reminds you of an animal walks up. Doesn't even, doesn't even blink. Just shoves you, boom! Shoves you uh, into a, uh, a little, uh, semicircular area. So they're between you and escape. Okay. You got a lot of balls coming in here and feeding on our territory. <clears throat> uh, give me a perception aware. and awareness roll, please. Okay. Uh, let's see, perception awareness. Um, Auspex helps if you use it, but it's a chance you're, you're risking if you use Auspex here. For eyesight, you mean, right? Well, you you activate Auspex, it it's hard to concentrate on anything besides all the sensations. Okay. Uh, no, I, I want to use Auspex. Uh, that's, so, that, that's easy, it's, it's diff six. Perception awareness, okay. Uh, wait, what? Diff six. No, no, it's not about that. This, oh, this is the initiative. Okay, I was clicking on the wrong thing. Uh, perception awareness. Okay, difficulty seven. Let's roll. Awareness, not alertness. It's the same dot. I have two dots in both. Okay. It's three success on my part. Wow. Nice. Um, the shadows are writhing and moving around you. Oh, shadows again. Sorry, I was uh, <clears throat> Damn. Well, I'm going to try to use my social skill and try to suit this out. All right. Try to calm down the situation. We'd like you to roll charisma and etiquette. Okay, charisma etiquette. I got both of those. Charisma. Mm -hmm. What's the difficulty? Uh, it's going to be six. Okay. Uh, if you succeed, um, they won't beat you too bad. <laughs> Okay, so I got four successes. Mini successes, that's excellent. The way out of this is to beg forgiveness. 
Yeah, I, I do believe that as well. I'm not a fighter, I'm a scholar. So yeah, I I do like beg for forgiveness, use my you know charisma and etiquette to essentially try to get the least harm out of this. How are you gonna uh, make it up to us? You fed on our territory, you didn't ask us permission, you violated my our domains. How are you gonna make it up to us? When I when I look at these people, uh to their bodies, do I see that something I can help with using my flesh crafting? No, not at all. Wise or nope. Physical, maybe the gangrel. Nope. No. Okay. Mm. I there's three of them, right? And both, all of them are vampires. You don't know that they're vampires. They they have. Of the three of them, none of them have, have exhibited vampiric tendencies. Doesn't one of them have an animal-like uh, face? I said vaguely something about him vaguely reminds you of a of a cat. Okay. Well, when I look at them, do I see pale skin, some you know semblance of vampire vampirism? Oh, they're pale. Not. Okay. Do they are they bre bre breathing? Does their chest move? They are. Do they, they are. They are are you just going to sit there and be like, I'm going to stare at you guys and observe your, your breathing and your blinking for a couple of minutes? <laughs> I mean, while, you, while, while you're yelling at me, how are you going to make it up to us? You, you killed someone on our domain. We're going to have to, we're going to, have to fix this. You, you violated the tradition of domain. By, by rights, I could, I could have you drug out into the sun. I should stake your ass right here. Okay, so they're kind of vampire. Okay. Come on, uh... come on. And they're like pushing you. Come on. You better answer. You better tell us how you're going to fix this right now. Jesus Christ. Should I die twice? Uh... <laughs> um... <clears throat> like, oh, what again? Listen. I owe you a boon. Minor one. Oh, you owe us. You owe us more than that. You owe us... An you, you owe us more than an apology. You need to beg for it. And you, you owe us a promise that you better keep. Now get down. Sure. Get down on your knees. Get down. Beg. Sure. Um, uh, let's see. There's two of them, right? Yes. Okay. Um, I would like to change into Zulu shape. <laughs> okay. Um... Your skin begins to writh, um, change. You, uh, this is a surprise action. So, but as you're doing it, I've already told you the shadows are writhing and moving. Yeah. Um, you get an action, and the shadows get an action. The shadows are going to grapple you. Okay. What is your action? Uh. So give me a moment, please. Uh, my action is going to be. Let's see. Um. Who's the one closest to me? The gangrel. The gangrel. Okay. Uh, I just want to uh, punch the gangrel, like with my fist. I mean, I don't have claws, right? I don't have. Uh, you have nails, have like claws? nasty freaking nails? long nails. Okay, uh, then I'm going to use my nails. All right. Uh, like claw attack. Strength plus one bashing. Okay. Do you want me to roll something? I do. I want you to roll. Dexterity and Brawl. Okay. Uh, of your... Now, you don't include your boost of Zulu shape yet. Okay, okay. Uh, the first um, roll I'm doing is for the tentacles. Okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, Alright. Um, two of the tentacles get a, a nice strong hold of you. And... Um, the gangrel does not get an action. He is going to take this right in the gut. Oh, are you speaking right now? I don't hear nope. anything. All right, so you succeed with four. Roll strength plus... Four extra dice. 
strength plus four extra dice. Uh, let's see. Uh, bashing included? This is bashing. So strength plus four. Okay, okay. Uh, sorry, I, I meant like weapon plus one included. Yeah. It's three extra dice for the extra successes, plus one okay. for nails, plus strength. Okay. Let's roll. And potence if you're using potence. I don't have potence. Uh, but it's lagging right now, so you need to wait. Damn it. I think this is about my. Okay, this is about my roll 20, not about the shit. It's uh, it's a problem with roll 20. There it goes. There's your damage. Alright, he's got a roll to soak. Yeah. Oh, man. One, two, three, four. Have round down. Uh, he soaks it all. You, ba bam! And he goes, ah! Oh! And he staggers back a step or two at, from the sheer force of your blow. And he yeah. looks up. Chink, chink. Goes, Here come the claws. Yeah. yeah, I know. I know. We are in actual combat rounds. You're in Zulu shape. I need an initiative roll from you. Yep. Do I have my boost now? Yes. Shit, I made a mistake. Sorry. I I I uh, I made a mistake with that roll, but it doesn't matter. And and you are grappled by two shadow tentacles. Alright. And it's not reflexive, right? I don't roll against the grapple when they try to do it. So um, actually, you will. Reflexive defense. You will. Which we will do as soon as you roll me initiative. Okay, I'm rolling initiative. No, wait. Initiative is. Uh, Roll a single d10. What's your dex boost? Two? For Zulu? Uh, three. Three. I have a dexterity of seven right now. You put all three uh, all three dice of boost no, and dex? I, when, I, when I get in Zulu shape, all of my physical uh, stats get plus three. So, plus three strength, plus three dexterity, plus three stamina. That seems and, one, and my dim, my and different. my damage uh, die uh, increases by one. So my I rolled seven. My dexterity is seven. My wits is one. So that's plus eight. So fifteen. I have initiative of fifteen. Okay, you definitely win. Um, roll strength twice. Okay, strength twice. Uh, I'm gonna do this manually. That is one, two success, and uh, okay. Uh, first tentacle holds on to you. Okay, so I got one success. And so success does the second. The one success you do not break away. One. The two shadow tentacles wrap around you. Oh, they're, they're around your head, your chest, your arms. You're like fighting against them. And they are pulling you back um, so that you uh, can't fade away. We are now in rounds. You go first. What is your action? Okay. Uh, I would like to attack the... Okay, the gangrel is... The is out of right? striking reach at the moment. Uh, okay, the gangrel is out of the reach. Um, Only because you're wrapped reach? up in shadow. Okay, who is in my reach? The shadow. The shadow, okay. Uh, I'm go Okay, I'm going to take multiple actions and I will break away from one of those tentacles. Okay, well, so... roll strength at minus one dice plus one difficulty. Yes, and uh, I also want to boost my stats. Okay. You are a 6th gen, I believe, so your maximum uh, attribute rating is 8. 6. Eight. Eight. 8. Okay. Well, uh, strength is, is... Your max is 7 plus 1 with blood is 8. So... Okay. So let's boost my strength. Uh -huh. And then a little bit of that stamina. All right. You need... Uh, you need 3 successes to break away. You can boost 10 for free round. 
Hmm? You can boost your strength to 10 for three rounds. Oh, okay. Well, uh, no. Let's see. Okay, uh, so let's roll the strength. The strength here. The modifiers. Difficulty six. Okay, so that is right, you, you give the you give the old roar and rip an arm out of the uh, grasp of one of the tentacles. All right, the Lasombra okay. is going to drop Nocturne at the entrance to the alley. Okay, he's being smart. He don't want nobody seeing this. The Ventru is going to dread gaze you. Okay, well I can't run the new one. Doesn't matter, you lose dice. Okay. Well, actually, I could maybe run away. If I frenzy and then I run away, despite being okay. Does... What is your wits plus courage? My wits plus courage, uh, four. Uh, I believe I actually... No, I did not get his character sheet. So we're going to roll just that. Holy the wowza. Only two successes. Element OP. I uh, went too far. Too far. Presence. Presence. There we go. Success indicates the victim is cowed, while failure means the target is startled, not terrified. Three or more successes means they run away in abject fear. Each success subtracts one from the target's action dice pools for the next turn. Not this turn, next turn. So next turn, you have minus two dice. Okay. Okay. All right. Um, Gangrel is doing a targeted attack uh, against your arm. He is rolling dex. He's rolling dex brawl at uh, diff nine against your free Wait, arm. No. Wait, not the Gangrel, just Gangrel. So like the wrestler? Holy shit! Yeah, no, not Garaki. Just uh, just this guy with the claws. Can can I dodge that? As part of your multiple action? Sure. Yeah. He's spending a willpower for an auto success. Okay. Good thing he did. A swing he's and failed. a miss. But you still need to roll your dodge. Because you don't yeah. know that he's going to miss. Yeah, yeah. Uh... Minus one, or minus two dice, plus two difficulty. Yes. Diff eight. Yes. Uh, Dex so athletics. So. Okay. Dexterity. Athletics. There's athletics. Here. Okay. Uh, minus two dice. And then difficult to eight. All right. Yes, you successfully dodge. All right, your tentacles. You are wrapped up by one. Mm, second one misses. You're wrapped up by three total. You're wrapped up by four. Four d tens. Four total tentacles. They have four dice of decks to a brawl to uh, grapple you. Uh, uh, four sorry, of them wrap the around you. Legs, uh, stomach. Um, you're not getting away. Are we at a new turn? Um, I am going to end combat here because okay. you have no possible chance of winning. Yeah, that's true. That's true. The tentacles wrap, coming out of the darkness wrap around you, your arms, your legs, your chest, and they wow. lift you up and pull you into the wall. And you are pinned 
Ah, you can't move. Um, can't go anywhere, do anything. And the three of them approach. And uh, the gangrel starts tapping that dangerous, dangerous claw uh, against your exposed, rubbery, black, viscous flesh. It's just like, hmm, should we cut a leg off, an arm? Pull his fangs, maybe? I don't know, guys. What do you think? Is 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 his sorry, is his claw on my skin? Is he's tapping. Tap, tap, tap. Okay. And you, uh, you need to physically manipulate it to make it affect him. Your your merit only works on you. Yeah, well I can extend my flesh. Right? Oh, they'll see it happening. This this isn't like oh, yeah, they, they... yeah, this isn't like the blob where it just whack and grabs. It's like Slow. Like a, a creeping crawling. It's like trying to watch a snail reach up and grab something. Uh, okay, <laughs> so I have a question. What, what happens if I push out my heart? You can do that. Nothing yeah, until un- unless you like um, separate it from you and it'll land on the ground and be okay. <laughs> it'll just be separated. Uh-huh. Okay, okay. Well, uh, okay, so it won't kill me. No. Okay. Can I kill myself? No. Can okay. I can just like bone spear myself or something like that and kill myself like that. You can put yourself in torpor. But I can't kill. My, I can't. No, you kill cannot myself. kill yourself. Okay. Okay. Sure. Do your thing. Hulk. All right, they, 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 the, the tentacles like get you on the ground, and uh, Ventru uh, digs through the trash and shit, and he pulls out uh, some wood, and uh, they pull out a knife and they cut into your flesh until they find your heart, which they are extremely shocked that it's not where it's supposed to be, <laughs> um, and they stake you. Okay. Um, going back to the regular group. Uh, <laughs> yeah, um, they leave you for the sunlight, by the way. Or actually, they're not leaving you for the sunlight. They are going to drop you off uh, at the bathhouse. Okay. So we'll get to that scene in a minute. Um, the rest of you guys, what did you want? Uh, what was your next move? We're going to fast forward. This is the next night. Um, Vlad has not returned. Uh, although his servant has and has said that his master is out hunting and will join you shortly. That gets a surprise look from Avna. He is. Are you certain that it was your master? Uh, yes, Mr. I'm uh, quite certain. He him, is... Like... My master is a wonderful, amazing, uh, talented, uh, supreme master uh, of regeneration. Interesting. Yes, we'll wait. Oh, we'll only likely take a moment. And you wait, and you wait, and you wait, and he never shows up. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure. I'm sure he. I'm sure he wouldn't want us to delay. The, um, I'm sure. Like the servant was misled. Uh, yeah. <laughs> the servant Bond, was. What Bloodbond can do to people, it's amazing. Yeah, I'm so very sorry. Let me go out and see if I can find him. <laughs> uh, you broke. Yeah. 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 He, he he apologizes can profusely. Gets on the ground. I'm so sorry. I'm we so sorry. We can't hear anything. Oh, come Maybe on. Change server. Yeah. I'll change server. Can't hear it's getting pretty bad.
Okay, let's try that. Any better? Yes. Okay. That's better. So, he uh, falls to his knees, apologizes profusely. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Listen, I'm going to go out looking for him. I, I know approximately where he was going, and, and I'll let you know if I find anything. Thank you. I suppose it could also be an opportunity to go hunt ourselves. Yeah, you can definitely go hunt yourselves. It's, uh, you know, that's up to you. I'm gonna go out if anyone wishes to join hunt. Okay. Sure, hunt. Yeah, you guys can roll your hunting rolls. Um, unfortunately, the uh, group that would normally have a chance of seeing you is uh, occupied with Vlad. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> Unless you botch, which would be real hilariously funny. <laughs> That would be fucking hilarious. <laughs> Excuse my language, but that would be hilarious. Um, yeah, actually, Lobby Anna might well. do the same thing, because um, this will give her an opportunity to, uh, well, do something that uh, she probably should be doing more of. Um, and I'll get to that. Um, I made the roll. What's the difficulty nowadays? Um, it is four if you just don't care, and it's six if you want something clean. Do I still have the debuff from people knowing that I'm a bit of a uh, black widow? No, you don't have that. Any you don't have that anymore. That was a uh, one-time thing. All right. Uh, you guys know the rule on feeding. Just tell me if you're taking more than two from a person. Nope. nope. This, this would be one of the instances where Labiena would be taking more than three, just to see what would happen. Okay. You uh, are you gonna do slow, or are you just gonna take it all at once? Slow. All right. She's in the experimental phase. You take one of the two people that you find aside and you take two and they're swooning oh uh, their eyes are closed never mind the face of this horrible monster at their throat um, their heads is just lolled back uh, in pleasure at the vampire's kiss and then you slowly slowly drain a third and their, their legs get weak and you're having to hold them up Um, you start, start draining a fourth and, uh, the pulse, the flow of their blood is getting a little weaker, a little weaker. Um, the, that, that strong pulse where it would, you know, spurt as you're sucking, as you're, you're having to pull harder and harder. It still tastes great. You still feel the vitality rushing through you, uh, but their skin is getting pale and their breathing is getting ragged and very shallow and very fast. Um, and they're getting cold. This is a diff eight. Um, do you keep going after four? I think at this point, Labiana uh, realizes what's happening and thinks, well, there's really no point in stopping now. Um, they, they muster enough willpower to weakly push at you. No, no, please. Oh, and, and you take a fifth and all resistance stops and you follow them down to the ground. Now you're on your hands and knees, sucking the last bit of it out of them. Uh, you're still in humanity, right? Yep. That's going to be conscience roll. Um, that was straight up murder. And savoring it as well. Yep. Um, that's going to be a level two sin. Casual violation of another. Deliberately causing death. Yep. 
So whatever your rating is, if it's five, it's going to be diff nine. If you have a humanity rating of four, it's going to be diff eight. You have a humanity rating of five, so that's going to be a conscience roll at difficulty nine. Conscience. I haven't made too many of these. Yeah. I Surprisingly, you and uh, Nicodemus have been have managed to avoid a lot of humanity rolls lately. Especially, yeah. surprisingly for you. <laughs> and that was the main reason behind this. And, uh, oh, That's a botch. Lose a point of conscious and a point of humanity. You come out of that, just... just oh, this poor human, he deserved it. He, I just did that human a favor. They went out on the greatest pleasure of their lifetime... And I feel awesome for letting them, letting that happen to them. I should do that again. And the beast in the back of your head is just turning cartwheels. It's so happy. Yes, that was awesome. I'm so proud of you. You did great. You know, we can we can do this again every night. That that was the best. I've never been so happy for you. My advice, if you want to help humanity, start ripping people's arms off. That was what finally caused me to lose a dot. Yes, that was funny. You ripped a guy's arm off and then beat his buddy to death with it. Yeah, and the thing is, <laughs> up till then, I had passed so many degeneration checks. It was like, like it was actually slightly frustrating, almost. Nice. Okay, so back to the uh, back to the session. You guys meet back up, and Labiana's up. She's she's almost chipper. Um, just just like, all right, let's go, let's go, yeah. All right. So, um. I'm going to focus on seeing Vlad, seeing what uh, happened, what this Sir Vlad servant uh, can find out about him. Uh, shall we focus on dealing this uh, further investigation of the Court of Neutrals? Hmm. To be honest, I think the investigation must take priority at this point. Um, all of your servants and retainers are nodding in agreement. Yes, yes, whatever you say. How do you let Catalina go off to see that juggler guy? Let her have her fun during the night. Okay. Yeah, Catalina can do that. So, I'm not going to look over to everyone. Else. Well, I believe that you should uh, perhaps go see it about um, trying to capture one of these men of this cult and see if we can get some answers out of one of them. Oh, oh. Hmm. That could be useful. I believe uh, Nicodemus told us that one of the men with the tattoo is mm. in front of him. Oh. Is that correct? It should be a uh. good start, perhaps. What was the question again? I believe Nicodemus told us that the man that uh, is in front of his college had the tattoo. Yeah, but not on the not on the hand, but on the arm. I'll be nice suggesting one of them. 
of them suggesting capturing one of them for interrogation, or the very least try to see if what one can dig out of them, out of the maps. It seems that those the, the 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 person that was by the collegia uh, that was uh, he didn't seem to be a thuggish type. It's more like that he perhaps it would be best to perhaps there are different levels of uh, initiation or something. That perhaps it would be more optimal to capture one of those that are uh, threatening the money broker bankers. It's not likely that there's some form of manipulation going on that they don't know about themselves. I mean, it would seem the most likely. Um, did we set up someone to, uh, be watching the, um, at the, that one place? Yeah. Okay. So, um, we've got, we've got, like, a, it organized with them that they'll let us know if the, the, the thugs come around again, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. I think if we can wait for... That we might have, we might be able to get something out of that. I think it would also do right now to investigate the angle of Crefia. What's what's the plan? That is a question. Certainly, he won't be very outspoken if we confronted him directly. I can try to. You go ahead. Sorry. Oh no, I was just agreeing with them. I can try to see if I can put one of my little shadows after him. If he goes, if it does, uh, goes meeting with some of the scout members to give them commands, would know about it. Hmm, perhaps, perhaps. It would... Um, here's a thought. So far, we've learned about their interferences with our accounts. Do you think we could send some of our retainers to just scout around rumors in the marketplace, see if they've been doing anything else that uh, might be actionable? Yes. Also, by the opportunity to learn if there's anything new on the street about the brother of Gracchus. That might be good to keep an eye on, yes. Just took a bite of my dinner. It was really, really chewy. And I didn't think you guys wanted to hear that. <clears throat> um, Gaius Gracchus uh, has been arrested and is going to go on trial. It happened this morning. Oh, damn. They're not wasting any time. That's not really surprising. Uh, perhaps it would be good to attend this trial. Are these kind of, tr kind of trials public? They um, are public, and they are held um, during the day. Yeah. That makes it tricky for us. I, yeah. I, have, I vaguely remember um, asking a similar question with one backup idea I had once, just like year, a year ago. Like, yeah. 
mortal trials are almost all during the day. Yeah, and they're, in fact, open to the public, and the public are the jury, and it's literally the court of public opinion. With Tom <laughs> and other accessories. Yeah, it's literally the public opinion decides whether you're guilty or not. He's counting on this, I bet. Yeah, I will not argue against that. Uh, well, this all makes it key to, to have an observant of our own for this. Yeah, one of your cult members would love to go watch that trial. Sincerely. And, per and perhaps uh, pay attention if there's any, uh, any Sol Mithras' people and the eye bears. I was going to suggest that, actually, um, by asking our cult members to uh, attend. I was also going to say, Labiana would consider it if she could get her uh, Benedictio Mortem to work. <laughs> Um, the main problem is staying awake for you. Because you can be, oh yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm definitely holding that, and uh, unless you reach level 5. If you've reached level 5, <laughs> then you're good to go. So, you guys are you're sending agents to the marketplace, correct? Mm -hmm. or, yes. or, and you're sending agents to the um, bankers, correct? Yep. Yes. Okay. And agents to follow around the Soul Mithras for, uh, uh, events. All right. Well, they get absolutely no information about the Soul Mithras uh, cult. Um, the Oppius guy is still a public figure. He is still gives his speeches recruiting, um, recruiting men, especially. Does he have the eye symbol? Not visible. Mm -hmm. Um, there are no ceremonies. There's no public displays. There's a guy that goes around recruiting. Apparently, he has pretty deep pockets. It yeah, would be a good idea if we can try to get a, have one of our people join him. And to act as a double agent from the inside. That would be risky. Uh, I think so, too. Um, the agents at the bankers come back <clears throat> and tell you that uh, they are in an uproar because the son of one of the bankers has gone missing. Oh, Jesus. Oh. Well, you know what? You know what? We can, abso we can absolutely bring that to the attention of uh, Praetor. We should, then... Um, do you guys, does anybody have influence here? Nope. Oh, not Nicodemus. I do not. I don't think anybody does. Nope. Yeah, you're never getting in to see him. Specifically. Hmm. Who does? We don't necessarily need to be the ones to bring it to him directly. We just need to figure out a way to bring it to make sure he's aware. To get the information to him. That's why I asked, do we know anyone who does? Um, you can be absolutely confident that if you wait a couple of days, it will come to his attention. The problem is, do you want to get it to him faster? Yeah, we want, we want to... I. We want to hmm. as quickly as possible. Would it, would it? I wonder if it'd be possible to skip, send like an anonymous tip or something. 
Uh, no, no, no guarantee it's going to get to his back. So, you actually know plenty of people that have the influence. You just kind of have to trade favors for it. Yep. Or, 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 or Albina can just sneak through his walls and leave a letter. Yes. This is going to suggest leaving a letter in his room. That might also bring attention to... That might also bring attention to the issue of... Who, who the hell got past all my security to deliver this? Well, the Praetor Urbanus is the fourth highest authority in Rome, behind the two consoles and the censor. Don't, don't be like Vlad. Don't do stupid acts. Now, I think we should... <clears throat> while you're debating this, um, your agents from the marketplace come back with a weird, weird tale. They saw... A uh, chariot going through the uh, Forum Venalia, uh, away from the Forum Venalia. And the chariot had a very large, uh, approximately seven feet, maybe, or one and a half, or about one and uh, two thirds meters long, wrapped up in sheets, package, um, bundled into it, and, and tied together with hanks of rope. And they've never seen a body that big, but they would swear there was a body in that package. Because uh -oh. <laughs> it looked just like a body that was bound inside of a sheet. <laughs> but sorry, they didn't they didn't see what was in it. That's just them, you know, hey, that was weird. <laughs> in broad daylight? No, this is night. Oh, night. At night. So, what? Yeah, Vlad, they wrapped you up in a sheet and uh, tied okay. the sheet and uh, put you on a chariot and you feel bouncing. Okay. Um, we don't know that. Um, um, sure. any, idea, any idea where they were headed? No, sorry, we didn't stick around. We ran right to here to tell you. Did we do right? Is, is that okay? I want to make sure that's okay, right? We didn't do the wrong thing. It's fine. It's not a big deal. Okay. I'm sure, I'm sure it was nothing. Perhaps maybe a good idea for us to try to see if we can locate this chariot again. Or keep our eyes open for it while you're in the streets. Alright, so, uh... <clears throat> That's, uh, your agents have gone out. They have come back. They have passed on this information to you. The only thing left, I believe, was you were going to go and see what you could learn about Cretheus. Is that correct? I believe nope. so. Yep. All right. Uh, there is one sure way to find out where he's at. I'm sure you guys know what that is. Yep, that's exactly it. Sure, let's go there. All right, you guys travel there. And... You have, uh, of course, you know of these secret passages. You make your way through them. And you walk in <clears throat> to the uh, chamber. The uh, first citizen is not there. Uh, but there is a very large number of neonates, um, a couple of uh, a couple of Venture there, uh, some members of the Eternal Senate. Um, and these two, uh, neonates that you've never seen before come in and they're carrying, uh, you see them just as you like, just as you get there, they're entering the hidden chambers, right? So you're like, oh shit, right? So you, you run in, you get, you get there behind them as they're, they're like carrying, you know, it's kind of struggling to carry this awkward bundle. 
and they give it the old heave ho, you know, left, right, left, whew, and they throw it and it hits the floor with a thump, boof, and uh, doesn't really bounce or nothing. And uh, they look, everyone turns to look at them, and they, they, one of them looks and says, uh, our apologies, we didn't know where to drop him off. Uh, he violated the sanctity of our domain, of the Forum Venalia. The next time, we will make sure it is the last time. At the drop matches the description that you can see from the two meter style uh, body weapon shields. Yep. Um, so they they turn around, um, feeling pretty arrogant at the moment, and walk out. And naturally, there is uh, everyone kind of looks at each other like. Well, who's going to go open that? Nobody want. Everybody, you can see it on our faces. Everybody wants to go do it. Nobody wants to be the one to go do it. You know what I mean? They are nervous to the possibility of there being something inside that they do not wish to be near. Well, not just that. It's a. It's a. It'd be like a lack of decorum, right? You can't. You can't be like a kid at Christmas and run to go open your present. You know, you got to be dignified about these things. So, uh, is, do any one of you want to be the one to run over and open the present? No. Nope. I wouldn't either, <laughs> to be perfectly honest. Uh, finally, um, one of the uh, Nosferatu uh, Maria Servius Postulus, uh, the sinner, uh, gets over, and he's like, and he leans over, and you can he, you can hear him saying. Uh, curiosity delayed is best satisfied. Uh, it's amongst the greatest of the pleasures. And he slowly takes the ropes apart and uh, begins to unwrap the sheet. And underneath it is a Zulu form monster. And with a stake um, sitting out of its, like, the heart would normally be in the left hand upper side. The stake is out of its back right kidney, where its kidney would be. And he looks up at everybody, and he grabs this monster, and he props the head up. And he's swirling the head so it'll look at somebody. And he's trying to decide who it's going to be looking at when he pulls the stake out. And he starts going... Who's it gonna be? Who's it gonna be? Who's ready? Do you recognize the Zulu awesome. form? <laughs> um, you saw it once, love very you. briefly. Well, either way, I love you, and it's just gonna be kind of maneuvering herself to make sure she's not in its line of sight. <laughs> you're, not, you're not the only one. It's like everybody's like, no, 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 and they're like left, right, no, backwards, trying to get behind each other. Like, no, no, not me. No. <laughs> uh, 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 Hat, meanwhile, is just staring, fascinated. I'm not going to see this as an opportunity to uh, show off more courage and bravery to my Julie Hayes, so she's going to step forward, let herself be very clearly among the possible subjects to be the line of sight of this creature. All right, he starts doing eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Catch a run uh, by the toy. <laughs> If I roll a seven, I'm going to get you, Albina. All right. He picks. Uh, there. Picks somebody standing in the crowd, grabs a stake, yanks it out. Um, Vlad, you come out of this in frenzy. Uh, shoot to your feet. The target in front of you. Get him, boy. Let's go. What do you want, dexterity? No. Uh, the beast comes uh, uh, stomping towards him, and the, the poor victim just screams, No! puts their hands up over their head like ducks down ah no and about four um, canines jump on top of you just everyone leaps through the air grabs you grabs your hands slams you on the ground um uh Albana would you like to be in on this yes alright 
Yeah, Albada, you're 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 like the fifth one. You land on top of it, this thing's chest, um, as its the jaws are up and snapping, and and uh, bones start uh, uh, bone spikes start coming out of its knuckles and its collarbones, uh, curving towards you guys as you're holding this thing down. Uh, they, they, people are like pulling their hand away. God, that hurts! As a uh, bone begins to protrude from its uh, forearms and stuff. And uh, you kind of like, like, you know, slam your forearm down on this thing a couple, two, three, four times uh, and until the frenzy finally passes. And, and uh, <clears throat> the Zulu form begins to recede, unfortunately, leaving a whole bunch of bony protrusions on a creature with one eye. Vlad, you're back to your normal self, but uh, you've got a whole bunch of... Uh, bone spurs sticking out all over your body no i'm not disgusted by bone spurs and this list of my problems right now uh, uh, throughout all of this i suppose do any of us recognize the whole one eye thing yeah you recognize that as a common um that's a common thing for uh uh vlad yeah that's when Labian is like, oh no. <clears throat> uh, <clears throat> okay, I'm back to my senses. Uh, and Sorius is like, you know, not that they're not fetching, but you might want to fix those so you can, you know, go out in public. Fix, so fix what? Think, and he, he's like stroking the bone spurs like they're phallic symbols. Oh, that. Okay, sorry. Uh, yeah, I'm. I'm going to. Sorry, I will clean that. I will. I will clean that. All right. Um, without him even moving, the 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 things start to shrink back into him. Listen, I'm very. I apologize for the. For the scene I caused. It must be quite hilarious. Uh, everybody's laughing at the guy who is screaming and hollering, No! They're all pointing and laughing at him. He has been socially humiliated quite badly. I am um, they're, 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 so uh, I... You're getting looks of sympathy, pity even, which might actually be worse, <laughs> that these lesser creatures dare to pity you for what happened. It's not really the blood's personality, so he doesn't really care. I want to buy two neonates. I'm a scholar, so don't know worries. I won't be in da any danger to anyone. Um, could you, gentlemen, please uh, lift off of me? Oh, yeah, they, they all let you go. Thank you, thank you. Well, that was a ruckus. I wish you a good night. Vlad? Indeed, that's me. I'll be how, how are you alive? Yeah, I was at Labian and I kind of looks. Surprise. Like, well, that's knowledge. Well, that's knowledge one must earn. Um, we can speak about this somewhere else. Maybe somewhere more private. I don't know. Of course. I, I, I like look at my clothes and I like take a glance at it. Oh, your clothes are shredded. Of... They're completely. Yeah. You're naked, by the way. You're completely yeah. naked. It's okay. So I, I take out some of the liquid and like splash it to the ground with my fingers and like Well I might need a towel. So what did I miss? Labiana, I suppose almost um, automatically and also wearingly in the circumstance take cloak. Uh, hands it to Vlad. 
but it's thank you for thank you for doing that. That's very kind of you. So, do you do you have a matter to deal with, and then we can maybe discuss if you have any questions? But like, I don't know. I've been I've been dead for a while, so you know I but might have missed some stuff. Not much has changed, although we have some new leads that we want to pursue, and in fact, we're here on business on that matter. No, that's a fact. But I don't know if our prey is here. Well, Should talk well. to the members of the Senate. They are uh, his. Uh, after all, he's also one of them. I imagine they will keep track of each other, keep tabs on each other. Sure. I mean, listen, I think the whole crowd in this place is right there. They probably wanted to see this. So if your guy is among that crowd, he's probably here. If he's not, I guess he's probably not in here. Well, as you guys are looking through the um, bathhouse, um, Alice Boy is here, the Toreador. Uh, a guy named Gaius Marcellus is here, the Childa of Alexander. Gaius was embraced at Carthage. He was embraced on the field. And, as I said, a number of uh, uh, neonates, newcomers, uh, people of uh, no status, and Servus Marius Postulus is, of course, here. I should have talked to one of the members of the Eternal Senate. They are there. Uh... Alice Boai and uh, the uh, uh, Ventru, um, Gaius Marcellus. They are both members they of the are... Eternal Senate. Gaius might be the best one since he also shares plans with creatures. He might be the closest relation with a uh, ship with him. Indeed. Um, Gaius is a Ventru. Uh, he is the Childa of Alexander. Um, he is sitting in uh, the uh, frigidarium, and a uh, one of his slaves is slowly oiling and scraping the oil off his skin. Uh, he is a decent-looking young man. Uh, he's a uh, well-muscled, and of course, the embrace uh, excised all the fat. So um, he was a tribune in the in the army, and the embrace just stripped him of all the uh, fat. So everything on him is defined and cut. Uh, the guy, he looks like he could be a modern model for, you know, some underwear magazine or something. Makes me wonder what his fading restriction is. <laughs> and uh, his servant is just taking his time, uh, a little, little section of skin at a time, brushes the olive oil on and takes a little scraper and scrapes it off just a little bit at a time. I'm gonna head over to him, take me a seat next to him, in front of him. I hope I not interrupt. Um, <clears throat> he leans back and he says, I know who you are. And I would guess you picked me out of the one sitting here because I'm... am unlikely to tell you to go away because you have no status. More like, uh, I picked you because of your good breathing, because of the the good blood that runs in your veins. <laughs> he smiles. He smiles. Oh, at least, at least you have some manners. 
I, I find myself I've... relaxed enough to listen. Well, uh, sorry, go ahead. Oh, I was just going to say, um, I'm going to need to drop soon, guys. Okay, we'll finish this scene up and then, then wrap it up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I was hoping perhaps we could speak uh, as members of the Eternal Senate. Well, I am a member of the Eternal Senate, but uh, you are wise to the ways of power, so you understand what I do, what and influence I do and do not have. You, how much, and that you cannot share much of it. After all, I myself am not a member and not privy to what happens within it. Yes, I'm not here to ask you to betray uh, your position, the confidence of your of the fellow members of the Eternal Senate. But I'd like to ask you if you could help me in getting in contact with one of them. Go on. Crucius, uh, I'm hoping perhaps we could learn where he is so that we may speak to him. I'm afraid I cannot give you this information. Cretheus will only speak to those uh, of the male persuasion. That causes her to raise an eyebrow. I see. At least for any business of consequence, he will speak to those of male. He uh, does not truly Mr. feel that women are uh, on par with him. They, they are not to his level must make the meetings of the Eternal Senate where he and, and the other female members are present quite awkward. <laughs> oh, darling, you have... Well, you have you have a glimmer of an idea there. So, if you will send one of your male counterparts over to me, um, I will explain how he might arrange a meeting. I have a I think we have only one male in the country. Hey, sounds like we need Nicodemus on the case. Yeah. Mm. I think I'm a female at this point as well. Yeah. Uh, it depends on who you ask, I guess. So. You have a male so, face. Yeah. Nicodemus. <laughs> Are you around? Mm. Oh, there you are. Okay. Um, he uh, waits for you to sit down and get comfortable. He says, uh, are you ready? Certainly. Cretheus uh, may be reached if you truly desire a meeting. Well... Let me pause there. I get ahead of myself. I can tell you how to find him, but I need something in return from you. From your coterie, as a matter of fact. Are you willing to pay the price? It seems like you have something very specific in mind. No. Favor for a favor. Certainly. How badly do you want this information? If I, if I tell you, if I tell you the interest is moderate to dump down on the favor, uh, it won't exactly work, will it now? It's obvious we have a purpose for this. 
yes, and it's it's obvious that it won't wait. It's obvious you need this now. Indeed. A minor favor, then, from each of you. Sounds reasonable. Why is he? Why is he such a such a re elusive reckless? Oh, he's the, no no recluse. He uh. Ground? He is quite busy on his sire's business. So, mm. to reach him. There is a temple at which you must uh, buy and sacrifice a bull, and a uh, initiate of his priesthood uh, will report your piety to him, and he will attend swiftly. Cool, cool, cool. cool. And what temple may that be? Um, I would tell you, but I don't have the name on me. <laughs> Out of character. <laughs> he does tell you, though. Okay. He, he, he does give you all the information. The name escapes me at the moment, and I will have to tell you guys later. Sounds good. Yep. Yeah. Okay, two experience points uh, for tonight, guys. Um, woo! I know it right. seems right. it seems like you didn't do too much, but in, in all honesty, you know these guys have a head start on attacking you, and you know playing catch up is, is always tough. I mean, uh, I mean, I I did like. Uh, I'm sorry, I wanted play. to do something. I wanted oh, to go do ahead. Something yeah. Before, before we did that completely. Absolutely. Um. What do we know about Marcellus's dealings in uh, mortal politics? Would he be someone who who has enough influence to reach the Praetor? Uh, undoubtedly, yes. Excuse me. If not through him, through his sire. Mm -hmm. okay. um, uh, Hatchet said, if you got to drop out, have a good night. Um, I'm going to stick around uh, and handle this. Good night. I have a good question. Since we're on such a good road to a mutual business transactions, I'm looking for a way to uh, have an audience or to pass a message at least to um, Praetor. Uh, now I yeah, Praetor I Urbanus. Greater I'm sure a man of your stature would have enough. Uh, would would have enough. Gra would have grace to reach such an important person. I can pass on a message. Uh, I can see that a letter reaches him, and he reads it. Um, you understand. I, I need to know what's in the letter. I will not pass on something that could damage me or mine. Do, do, do. Uh, apparently you didn't hear that. I said, uh, I can I can make sure that the letter reaches him and that he reads it. You understand, though, I will need to know what's in it. I cannot be party to something that will hurt me or mine. Certainly. Uh, uh, assuming those those terms are met, what what price would you ask of it for it? I believe a minor boon would be sufficient. Very well. Uh, of course, they. I would need to confirm on this, but uh, it seems I'll be very interested and, of course, to prepare the note. Then I will be here for, until um, he looks over at the candle. 
Uh, the candle's got about 45 minutes left. I will be here until that candle burns down. Just like that's enough time. Some random canine puffs the fire. The time is up. Um, I'll return once I have the note. Or perhaps at least tell you uh, if I change my mind. Uh, he nods and goes back to letting his uh, servant scrape the olive oil off of his skin one square inch at a time. Okay. Uh, I guess the question for the upcoming session is, do we let him know what's in the note? Uh, what are we going to write in the note? Uh, well, we're go we want to inform the Praetor that there's been some mishaps uh, regarding the personal uh, bankers. Okay. Uh, I think, I mean, he's a venture, right? Okay, as I said, let, I'll just type the question in the chat so so Luke can read it too. Okay. Well, I personally think that he's adventurous, so maybe we should find another way. Because Winter will get to stick together when they can get boons from each other. And Dignita, all that stuff. Uh, so it might be much easier for him to betray us or say that he won't deliver the letter or deliver the letter, but to someone else and lie to us, you know, many potentials that yeah. things might go wrong. Um, he accepts um, did, did Vlad say that within yeah. hearing distance of Gaius? No, no, it's out of character. Okay, I was going to say, you just insulted somebody on the road of Kings. That ain't going to go over well. Uh, out of character, I said yeah. that. Yeah, Venture, yeah, Venture, Road of Kings, if he says something, it will happen. I mean, it's in their best interest to uh, get this information anyway. Hmm. Can I can I buy um, Empathy too? No. Okay. You you just spent an entire session going. I don't give a fuck how anybody thinks or feels. Well, you. I mean, your your, your words were. I don't need to care about it. I just you know. I think just what you said. Yes, but you made you absolutely no it, effort to no understand words. how or why somebody felt the way they felt. I mean, there wasn't really an opportunity to to do that. Uh, there was. I couldn't. About three to, at least three different opportunities. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I understand which ones you're talking about. Well, I sure. le like at least two. There were at least two different times, and okay. each time it was like, nope, I don't care. Nope, I don't yeah, care. I don't yeah, care why true, you feel the way you true. feel. Yeah. True. 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 I I really don't care though. <laughs> okay. See you guys. Bye bye. Goodbye. Bye. Good night. Yeah. Thanks for the session. Yeah. Good night. Good night. Catch ya. See Good night. See you in two weeks. Yep. See you in two weeks. See you then. Yeah, I... Uh... Okay, guys. Um, thanks for sticking it out for with us. Uh, session 79. I understand it uh, wasn't maybe too exciting. No wild clashes of arms. No, uh, no scenes of um, wild political betrayal. But uh, these kind of slow burn political things, you know, they really can sometimes take a while to heat up. And they do tend to pay off in the end, so I appreciate you listening. I um, hope we're entertaining still. Uh, as always, feel free to drop a line to me. I'll try to get back with you as soon as I can. Uh, like hearing from you and appreciate any feedback. Thank you guys. Have a great evening.